Hello there, welcome to the show. Reptoid discovers Minecraft live on the air. Yes, we're doing it again. It is a Monday. So, of course, you know, that means that Phazon's going to be here at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So, about uh, three hours from now, because it's 4 p.m., we got three hours of some Amatsu SMP shenanigans. Got to work on the ice boat highway. Because I want to get that done. Because I think what I want to do is I want to have uh, all the glass done and all, well, at least all the ice down and the buttons and then as much of the glass as I can because I figure it's going to be interesting to see Phazon see this done and we're going to get to the portal at the other side <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me and I've already looked around a little bit and it's a nice situation and I think it'll be fun to get him to go through the water and up the other side into this cave and it's dark, so hopefully he's got his settings right. It'll be fun to see what happens, because he always has something. Why does he always have something different going on here? Shaders are messed up. The screen's not recording in the right size. You know, his audio's not working. There's always something, right? So I'm hoping his, his light, lighting will be okay. And then we're going to explore and see where we come out. Hopefully it's not near somebody's base, because I'm trying to teach him this idea that if we keep things kind of hidden, you know, it's a good strategy. And then if he ventures out, oh god. Am I going to suffer from empty nest syndrome? Eventually, eventually my poor technician is going to be playing Minecraft solo all on his own without safety lizard to help him. Uh, it'll be a sad dad day. But anyway, <laughs> until then, we're just going to get into the world and work on some stuff and we'll be seeing Mr. Phazon in about three hours time. So if you want to see him come back in three hours or, you know, do that lurk thing and watch me anyway. You don't mind leaving this lizard in the background doing stuff. Let me just make sure everything's working here. It looks like it is over there. I think everything is fine and we'll talk about voice chat stuff later. I just want to get some work done first and get this going. All right, so let's just pop into this right now. And I think there's people in there already. That happens in three seconds. Yeah, see? Who's on? Let's see. Ernie is on. Hello, Ernie. I have a feeling you're probably watching, which is cool. So uh, let's load everything up, move around a little bit, do this thing, let everything catch up. What the hell? Kill Chinese food one. What the hell is that on my screen? What does that mean? Oh, I could really go for killing some good Chinese food right now. I mean, man. Actually, no, I just ate. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Why does it say that on my screen? What did I... How did I... Who to, who to what the... Where to what the heck... What? Is it something to do with this compass? It just points to your base, which basically just points to spawn. <laughs> Ooh, I might be able to take this with me when I'm with Mr. Faison. Although I have cords on my screen anyway, so I don't know. Might be kind of fun, but that could also help me avoid popping out in the wrong place. We'll see. We'll see. All right, what am I doing right now? I need to... I have my silk pick on me. Yeah, I'll probably use that for... I should probably heal that up first. That's one thing I should do. Go to the spider spawner and just heal everything up quickly. Before we do anything else, I should probably grab some food, too. Let me know if there's any technical issues. If you guys can hear me okay, that's always good to know. I assume you can. Uh, I want to probably get some of these taters done, too. Uh, wait, how many do I want to do here? 24? Just for now. And of course, I'm still doing my uh, pledge drive for my food. I need food. I'm going to have about 100 to $150 for three weeks to eat with. And that's not a lot of money. I have emergency money, but it's meant for like moving expenses if I lose my house because, you know, I get screwed over by roommates or something like that because I have to live with roommates. I have no choice in the matter. Long story short, I'm kind of stuck. I need to have emergency money that's not just used willy-nilly for just like, oh, I'm hungry. And then I don't have any left. And then if I get screwed over, I don't want to be living under no bridge. Fuck that shit. I've done it before. It kind of sucks. It's okay in summer, I guess, a little bit, but... I don't want to have to do that. So, if you want to support me, the best way to do so is to either buy a sub sub blah, 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 blah. You can do that too. But I, I would rather suggest that you buy a subscription here on Twitch, or of course, I'll just type music in chat here. Buy my albums. I get 85% revenue from that. 
Just go to that link in the sidebar right now at Bandcamp and uh, I would really appreciate your support right now because food is absolutely critical in life. Can't live without it. See what I mean? I'm eating in game as a reminder. Why does it say that on my screen? I'm not even like trying to target the dude. What the hell's going on? <laughs> what are you guys up to over there? Why does it say that? Do I have to log back in to get rid of it? Huh? I don't get it. Someone tell me. What did I do? I have nothing to do with that. I don't know what's going on. It's gonna make me hungry at some point, and that's not good. Oh, see, it's a, definitely a slime chunk on that side too, because there's one right there. This guy just spawned in. Seems like it's right about here somewhere, just up there. But they keep spawning in. <coughs> oh, we have a zombie. Hello. You're it. Come and get me. Coming? Okay, good. Cool. Okay, you wait outside for a minute. I gotta heal some stuff. We'll play tag in a minute. Alright. Uh. Don't break my damn door! Idiot. My door okay? I know the game's in hard mode, and I forgot those guys get kinda an kinda nancy. Nancy? Nasty. Or antsy. Or they get kinda nancy. I don't know. Maybe that's the new term. I just make shit up. Over here. Man. Need some of these. Heal things up. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> Hello, Ernie. How's it going? I'm just healing up my silky. You're gonna come out of there. Oh, these things are getting stuck in here again. Go all the way up. So, Ernie, if you can hear me, what's with the Chinese food on my screen? <laughs> Why is that there? What do you guys do on this server? Kill Chinese food with a red one. What does it mean? Tell me. I need to know. And I need to know how to get rid of it, because it's got nothing to do with my show. What are you guys doing here? Okay, it's a scoreboard. What game am I playing? I don't want it. I'm not playing some scoreboard. I'm just gonna work on some shit. You want me to go kill the guy? Is that what you're suggesting, Ernie? Okay, it was your idea then. I'll tell him it was your idea. You told, you, you told me to go kill him. And you said it's a scoreboard, so I have to get more than one. I have to beat you guys, right? So... Yeah, you're spidey. Oh well, yeah, I don't care about that. Like I said, I don't care about no scoreboard. Make it go. Delete it. Eh, come here. And how did I get one? I did nothing. How did I get one for nothing? How's that how's that fair? I got one point already? Well, like I said, most of all, it just has nothing to do with what I'm doing, so it's just kind of an annoyance at this point. Like, I don't want to see that in my screen the whole damn show for five or six hours. Just getting in the way. Aiden has one kill because it killed me for experimental purposes. Okay, so you guys are doing a thing. So I'm stuck with it. Is that what you're saying? I'm stuck with it. I have to live with this on my screen no matter what part of the world I'm in for the whole damn day? Oh, that's just lovely. Man, that's like a professional Minecraft glitch you guys have created here. Ugh. It's like having a, a pop-up ad that you can't get off of your desktop or your computer. 
I'm Clicky. You can't get rid of me. I work for Microsoft. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Reminds me of that kind of shenanigans, you know? Try and delete me and I'll erase your whole hard drive. <laughs> When your OS is the malware. All right, that's done. Also, do this. Spideys, where are you? That's everything, right? That looks good. Well, I should do my helmet then. Come here, helmet spiders. There, perfect. Perfect, that doesn't have anything on it anyway. Here, have some stuff. Now, uh, one full stack of string. I will take this back to the village. Well, back with me for now anyway. Slimer's still here. Wow, he left already? I wasn't even that far away. You don't have to go far for those things to disappear. Wait, there's got to be a setting for that, right? <coughs> there's got to be a setting somewhere in my options where I can actually turn that scoreboard off so I don't have to see it myself, right? Somebody know? Tell me what button to push. I'll give you a billion dollars. Because I'm so rich. Um, string, 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 string. Yeah, that's some good money right there. I'll just do five. I'll leave a little bit here for emergencies. All right. <coughs> Get out of that menu, damn it. The fuck? Yeah, there's gotta be a setting for this somewhere. Uh, options. Anybody got any ideas? Chat settings, accessibility, is it somewhere in chat? There are chat settings. Colors, web link, prompt, chat background, shadow, command, narrator, hide, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'd match names. Did any of this? How do I turn that shit off? Uh, mm, I don't know. There it is. Subtitles, high contrast, sprint, sneak, line spacing, distortion, field of view, glint, monochrome, high. It's okay. Did anybody see it in there? Because I didn't. And I'm just glancing over it. But if there's any way to turn that uh, scoreboard shit off, someone let me know. <clears throat> there's a billion dollars in it for you. Come on, detectives, do your job. I'll pay you. <clears throat> Actually almost hot today, depending what you're doing. Kinda warm, surprisingly. What do we got in here? Yeah, that's not bad. I should probably, I should probably, what else do I need to do while I'm here? Hey, did I, uh, there's still six books in there. That's not too bad, I guess. String for you. Uh, string for you. <coughs> string for you. String for you. And uh, what's left of this for you? Oh, there's still 40 here. Um, this guy some more. String, string. There, good amount of emeralds for now. <clears throat> this needs to come back because there's a spare one there. There's a lot of arrows here. Uh, I will put them there. This doesn't need to be here. Back. All right, 
my work is done here. Well, I guess nobody knows. Oh, uh, wait, what did I get? Oh, yeah. Dunk that. Full stack of arrows. <coughs> and that up there. Okay, wait, I wasn't even looking. Um, yeah, I can. Good, 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 good. We are going to go downstairs and do some stuff. I'm gonna keep this handy. Um, oh, I need, uh, yeah, where do I have all the ice right now? It's all here. Um, yeah, I think I'll have to take that, that whole box with me. And there's some glass. Uh, how much? Yeah, that's outside, isn't it? I think I'll get some of this cooking right now. Four, one, two, and then, uh, wait. Yeah, okay. Something like that. The way llama. Okay, lavas are all set. Good, let's get some of this going right now. So the glass is being cooked. Okay, then we have to split that one. Split that one. Split that, and we split that. That is the plan. Leave one there, get four of these. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna leave them there for now. This stuff happens pretty quick anyway. Okay. <coughs> we'll fill that up in a minute. I just have to remember to come back here and deal with those as soon as I get back in. Do, 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 do. I could probably. Technically, I don't have a drop box because this is full. Well, I could use this for a few things. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not gonna need this or this right now. Gives me a couple extra slots. Ah, I take that just in case. Really don't need all those like. <clears throat> okay, actually, here's what I want. Let's rearrange this. This is what we're working on. I line this all up just right. That. <clears throat> Guess I'll do a little bit of work now. Get this out of here. All right. Oh yeah, what's going on? Hey, get off my desk, motherfucker! Yeah, get out of here, stupid bug! Run for your life! Damn thing! <coughs> Oh, it's gonna be frustrating if I. Oh, this is extra stuff. Mm, okay. I have to do it this way because I want to keep things in order. There we go. Keep that topped up for now. So if I forget, I'm not wasting that much. There we go. Right, let's go. So what are you working on, Ernie? You're working on your construction? I got the right one. I don't really need this on me. I shouldn't have this with me. I think about it. It is for glass, but... <clears throat> yeah. Wither farm! Oh my god. Wither skellies, I assume, right? You can get lots of skulls for beacons. Ba, 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 ba. I was gonna put this away. That's not the place to put it. The place to put it is up here where it is safe. Like right there, so I remember. Fun.
I'll just leave that for now. I uh, already got these on, that's good to go. I could probably move my axe out of the way. Um, and I'll probably grab some of these right now before I do anything else too. Really? I'm against that. Okay, that makes sense. I'll just leave that for now. That leave me two empty slots? Yeah, okay. That's fair. Pearls handy just in case. Oh, I should probably have my. Um... Oh, fuck it. I'm just doing this. I'm not worried. I guess I should have my potions, but I'm fine. Gotta slap all this shit down. Actually, you know what might be fastest is just doing this. I'll have to check my map every so often, though. Make sure everything's good. Make sure that's doing good. Okay. Missing one every once in a while. Mm -hmm. I hear ya. You ain't doing shit. Grant away all you want. There aren't any down here. <clears throat> oh, are they hunting over there? Oh, 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 you're cornered now. Yeah, oh, well, now what are you gonna do? Oh, God, he's gonna get him. He's gonna, oh, he, he pegged him off. Oh, he's got the blue fungus behind him. That's a smart piglin. Look at this, look at this. He goes back where the blue fungus is. The AI is adapting, folks. Uh-oh. Oh, he got one hit on you. You're fine. You're fine. Get him. There you go. All right. Celebration dance. Let's go. Do your dance. Do your dance. I can't see you. Where are you? Are you dancing? You're not dancing. Are you? He's just like... He's just looking at it. He's undecided. <laughs> okay. He's kind of excited about it, but he's not eating it. All right. I see how it is. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I gotta make sure we don't... Punch these guys. All right, get some more down here. All right, we got a couple of little ones. Uh, you can move somewhere else. There, thank you. God damn it! Thank you. 
There we go. That part's done. I should probably just get the buttons for this first before I do anything else. Just at least get this one path done. This one part of it. I gotta build a house around this portal as well. Gotta make it a little safer. What did I just see here? Nothing. Okay. I saw through the rock for a second, I guess. Happens. It happens. Hey, Florica, if you're watching, I have no idea. Alright, um, let me just keep this all together for now. See, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. You're lurking! Ah, cool, cool. Awesome. Uh, well, I guess I should grab this first. Alright, let's see here. I can probably actually pile all these up. I want now. Do we got? Do they all fit? Not quite. Okay. Not quite. I'll stick around till I can get them all in there. Do do do. Well, I can wait for a beverage. Perfect. That one is done. Oh, I gotta take it out first. There we go. There's room for them all. That's the main thing. Take all the glass out. That can say 64 and that's empty. Everything's gonna work out just fine. Even if I totally forget about this now. That's the main thing. Alright, so how much ice do I... Well, I want to do the buttons next, didn't I? I've got 16 buttons right now. I'll leave those there. Let's make a whole ton of buttons. I gotta chop down some. I can make buttons out of anything, but I am kind of saving some of this wood. But I always end up with too much of this. But here's my plan. Buttons. And lots of them. Uh, let's go with... I guess I gotta do them all, really. Otherwise, it's not gonna work out. They are a different color, but that's okay. So the ones on the ground will be the oak button, and the ones on the ice will be dark oak. That could be interesting, right? Yeah. Why not? Okay, was well, there something I wanted to do besides that? I think I said I wanted to drop something off, or what was it? I don't remember. I never remember. When I'm just, like, rushing to get stuff done. Just doing it. I don't remember what I was doing two minutes ago. Oh yeah, I was gonna build a house around the portal. Okay, I gotta bring some, uh, some deep slate down. That means I should chop these ones off. Pause. I'm move these down to the other end. Well, I guess I don't need to because I don't need to make any more. I think I did all the oak buttons already. All right. I mean, they really stand out. Mm, makes me want a chocolate bar. Look at these. Look at these ice cold chocolate bars. Like you put them in the freezer for five minutes and then just chew on them. Oh, nice dark chocolate. Mmm. They look delicious. Uh, no, I have not. I've been too busy doing... This is the first time I played Minecraft today. This is my life, bro. I get to do this maybe three times a week, twice on air and once off air, and that's it. The rest of the time, I'm busy, 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 busy. I had no time for doing anything like that. Otherwise, 
I would probably be doing that instead of coming here. But I have, uh, I have obligations and a commitment to my show between seven and nine. Gotta get this all despawned right away. And that guy walked right by me. That guy's out of the way. Good. I barely have time to watch somebody else do shit like that while I'm doing stuff I'm supposed to be doing. I just leave it on in the background. I lurk other people doing shit like that as I'm doing what I'm what I'm doing. Have you? Okay, I need more dark oak. That's for sure. Now let me think about this. One's down here, since I can't use carpet. Yeah, that'll work out fine. It's weird. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be pretty weird. I've seen a bit of it, but you know, I mean, like I said, I lurk something like that because it's kind of a fun temporary snapshot troll kind of thing. It's meant to be played today as like a special feature. Everything's a feature. I'm playing Minecraft. I mean, feature game. They call it the feature game now. And then, you know, everyone just goes back to what they're doing anyway. So by the time I do it, you know, there's no sense in broadcasting it. Everyone else will have done it anyway. Potato dimension, yeah. Just don't run it on a potato computer. It definitely won't work. Stay armed up, and I'm not. Especially running around there. Plays potato game on potato computer. Potato section. Speaking of potatoes. Alright, how are we doing here? Let's get some more of this out. That up there, so that's not too bad. Potato simulator, yeah, exactly. Um, okay. I'll just go through this for now, but that's not going to give me a lot. I think what I'm going to do... But yeah, thanks for the dark oak saplings, because I'm probably going to need to throw those two back. I'll wait for saplings anyway, so i, I got to remember, I started with eight. Let's just chop some down. <clears throat> hey, do I have three trees or two? I only have these two, right? Yeah. Made room for three, though. So dark. I can't even see this oak. Not just dark oak, it's really dark oak. God oh, damn. In the rain, I can't see shit. Okay. See some tree over there somewhere. Just swing in the general direction. Eventually, I'll get it all. The overhang stuff. Okay, there we go. Okay. Dark oak. One, two, three. I'll leave these three down for now. And I got all this stuff. That'll despawn. Our leaves touching. Yes. Stop touching. There you go. Okay. How many did I get? I got eight. That means I got three. Better drop one. Come on, you stupid leaves. See, these plants don't regenerate. I got three out of that, and that's it. So, that tree would have been dead if it wasn't for Ernie's help. Holy fuck. This is why people end up going to a dark oak forest and just ripping it all down. Hey, Minecraft, if you don't like people just ripping down trees and, and getting used to that idea as a habit, then uh, don't make a game that trees don't... <laughs> you can't respawn the damn things. 
Just saying, Mojang, you know, kids play this game and they get ideas from it, you know, you might not want to do that. <laughs> if you want to, you know, make the idea that, you know, you're supposed to regrow trees, then make sure they always drop enough saplings to regrow the trees. Yeah, I got enough this time, okay. This tree's listening to me. If only Mojang would listen to me. Okay, I got just enough saplings so far because I'm still holding eight. Destroying force. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't know. I mean, I think you said that last time. Fine. Oh, I got another. Ooh, I got one extra. I have nine. So out of two trees, I earned one. I earned one sapling. That's enough for one quarter of a tree that would never grow. Thanks, Mojang. You're so awesome. Let's get that out of way, too. I guess sleep first. The logic, you know. Well, you know. Was it Notch who invented the oak tree that puts out apples even though it's an oak tree and puts out way too many saplings and you can grow them right next to each other because there's enough bush that you get enough saplings to replenish the entire line of trees? Pretty nice idea, man. Boy, that teaches kids some good things. But, you know, then we have, you know, these new guys and I don't know. Was, who the hell wants to regrow trees, they said. They're just like, I oh, don't know, fuck that shit, man. Yeah. Let them deforest the place. What do we care? The world's big. It's infinite. Whatever. As long as we're getting them sales. <laughs> what? Too edgy, Mojang? Yeah, alright, alright. Talk about me. Talk about me publicly. I could use the uh, attention, you know? So, negative publicity. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Negative publicity. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we only want Walmarts. Yeah, that's. So, if you're ever going to build a Walmart, you have to do it out at a dark oak forest. Or a jungle, since they don't drop proper saplings either. That's really annoying. I'm just gonna finish this glass since I'm here. Uh, buttons, buttons, buttons. I guess we're picking those up. I said get off of my desk. Go, scoot. Scoot, you damn bug. Get out of here. Go! Go hide somewhere. Six-legged beast. You're lucky, bug. You're lucky I'm vegetarian. I heard that, uh, hey, Mr. Bug, I heard some news over the last year. Humans are sort of like veering away from red meat. And they did that whole chicken thing and they're gotten on the fish diet, pescatarian. Well, now they're coming for the bugs. So, pfft, good luck with that, Mr. Bug. Yeah, they're going they're planning to eat you now. They're going to have massive, massive bug factories. Billions of bugs being murdered by the second. Just constant <laughs> grinding you into powder and turning you into some kind of creepy proteinated veggie burger thing. Oh shit. Well, that's it. I'm off veggie burgers now. I'll never eat another one. I just grossed myself out. Well, I'm fucked. Alright. I'm gonna start eating raw carrots, I guess. I gotta do something. I ain't eating no damn bugs. I'm no bug eater. That's a human thing. It's a bug habit. Like smoking. I don't wanna eat that shit. Are you kidding me? Disgusting. And I heard a lot of people are allergic to bugs. A lot of people are trying out those bug burgers and getting really, really sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and a lot of people think dinosaurs were cold-blooded. Well, if they're cold-blooded, how come they had a four-chambered heart? A four-chambered heart, not two, four. So much for the cold-blooded theory. Are birds cold-blooded? They're evolved dinosaurs. Ding, 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 ding. I can hear the bells ringing and the gears turning for other people that didn't know that. Yeah, birds are dinosaurs. Take a look at chicken feet. Take a look at chicken feet. Look at an emu. Stare at those legs and go, aha. So they were feathered and, and they were 
They were massive, massive, massive chickens, basically. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dinosaurs were massive fucking chickens. Some flew, some didn't, just like the birds down here. We have kiwis. They don't do much. They just look funny and run around and make little pip sounds. In Australia, you know? Or New Zealand or somewhere like that. Maybe the middle of the uh, Arctic Ocean. I don't know. Oh, no, those are penguins. They don't fly much either. They're dinosaurs. Look at all them dinosaurs. Look at all damn dinosaurs. And they're not cold-blooded. They are warm. Some even consider them hot. At least from what I've heard from the furry community, but that, you know... Uh, never mind. <laughs> oh, they should run out just in time. There it goes. There it goes. Three, two, one. Yeah, see, I know my math. That's the perfect amount. There we go. Done. That's how much glass we get out of that. Alright, so, uh, let's put the lava back in first of all and get that ready for the next round. And I'll probably... I got enough glass to work on that for now, and that might be enough. But I'll get Faison to do another row or two when he's here later. Perfect. I gotta start working on some more ice and I probably have to go get more. Which is fine because I want him to uh, have that experience as well. Picking that ice is a lot of fun. Alright, so that's all stacked up. The amount I want. Actually, I'll leave that there. And move my dirt out of the way instead. Oh, I gotta bring some um, deep slate down for the little house down there. That might be enough. Should be enough. Gotta build a little safety thing down there, which means I should probably put some glass instead. Hang on, let's grab a stack of glass. Instead, build that little house. We'll get all that out. Uh, gotta make my buttons, but I don't have room right now. I'm gonna do this first. Then we'll put our buttons down. Now that I got more dark oak ready to be buttonated. Ow. Yeah, and as I was saying, half the dinosaur world is vegetarian. That's right. Half the dinosaurs ate vegetables. Like vegetable soup or something, right? That, that's why they found all those cans. Oh no, wait, that was an that was an archaeological dig. That was a landfill. My bad. Never mind. That was a human thing. I get you guys confused sometimes. Hello, what is this? What are you doing here? Wanna come over? I can just just catch that tailbone if you want. If you just kinda like it. Oh he doesn't care. Okay, that's fine. He doesn't even see me right now. I'm gonna do this after, so let's do this first. Get all this ice down. Cause I gotta test this out at some point too. And if I get too far ahead and start ruining the show for phase on, I'm gonna stop and do something else. Whatever that might be. But yeah, it's like Quarter to five? I got Oh, I ran right through that guy without looking. I was looking at a clock. I ran right into a pig. Um, yeah. That's the plan. What I say. Grunt at me, pig. Go on. Grunt at me. Grunt at me. Grunt at me. Grunt at me. Not grunting at me. Oh, who's behind me? Nobody. Yeah, I hear you up there. Running good? Okay. Where are you? What are you doing? Running into lava? Sounds like you are. <laughs> Another pig bites the dust. And another pig gone, and another pig gone, and another pig bites the dust. Hey, gonna oink you too. Another pig bites the dust. Da -da. All right, all right. Whoever said I was Freddie Mercury, all right? Just chill. Where am I? I'm, oh, what's going on over there? Oh, it's because I'm turning around. The chunks aren't loading until I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been out here yet today. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're good. Okay. Keep going. Voop, voop, baby. I wish I could show him the nice carpet I usually put down. Fortunately, because it's touching the actual same level as the lava, it ends up cooking the damn stuff, catches fire. I'm stuck with buttons. One left, one stack, okay. More pigs, because I've already been through there. Game physics. Once you've been one direction, you start doubling back, all the mobs start spawning behind you. It's always a trap when you're going backwards, right guys? Okay, Mr. Pig, you can go. Uh... Excuse me, Mr. Pig, I need to go that way. <sighs> I know you only got half a brain, but I'll, I'll give you a minute, Jimmy, all right? Go up there, up on this stuff. Wee! You, you guys always like to go up, up, up. I like to go up on things, right? Go up. <laughs> Finally, oh my god. Staying up there? Okay. My god, so annoying. And I'm out, okay. Now I can run up here at least. Yeah, 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 you're a guest, I hear you. This place is a Strider Park. Crazy. Gonna have to have some fun with those guys later. That's something we're gonna be doing. Probably next Monday, among other things. I think it'd be fun to set up a nice little Strider farm. Just like race them around here. Get a powerful bow and arrow and just shoot gas so we're just zipping around. I've done it before. Just not here. Okay. Uh, oh, I want to do the house next. Right, 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 right. right. That's the next thing. So, um, I'm not going to be using this side because I wanted this to look like an end. So it ends here. So it have a little bit of stone rather than glass going all the way. Or do I want to put glass in there? I could always add more glass. I think what we're gonna do. I want to set up like a little house kind of thing around here, so maybe. Ooh, that's what I'm gonna do. If I expand this out like this. Let me see how's it on this side. Why is there that there? I was doing it from wait, was it this side? Yeah, okay. That line of glass is probably gonna go to. I'm actually gonna put that on the floor as well. That of this. Uh, let's, I don't know how far I'm going out, but let's do that. Here that out a minute. So, this is going to be opening up here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Open this up. Uh, get rid of that. Because I'll open up this side. Stuff is all, of course, going to come after me. That's what they do. And maybe 
Maybe I make these two glass as well. I'm just thinking of making this like a little area or something. I don't know if I want it that wide though. So maybe, what if I did it there? That's enough for just like random stuff. Okay, so that's out by three. That's out by three, so we need one. There, and then we're doing this. Yeah, jump over that bitch. Okay, we gotta get rid of this stuff. These things. How far down is it? Ah, oh, it's not too bad. Make it by two, just to be safe. What we got around here? That is dangerous there. But, I'll leave it for now. Gotta be more here. Looks so funny right next to a portal. Our portal spawns right by a portal. That's just too funny. I can pick it up later. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Whoops. That, that, and that. What's up? I hear you. What do you want? What do you want with me, huh? Okay. Well, you want to play. Okay, go swimming. No? Go swimming. What? Uh, nope. That's not. That's cheating. You jumped right after you were born? Really? What are you saying? You're born to jump? Yeah, I finally got another one. Oh my god. Okay, babies. Come in here. Bunch of babies. Let's go. Bring your nephew, too. Let's go. Come on. Nice. I finally got another one. That way I can knock you back this way. I don't know why this is here. Let me guess. Phase on misclicked. That's my guess. There you go. Yeah. That's right. I want you to cream for me. Yeah, yeah. Get over here. How many do I got? Just the one? I need more than that. You guys gotta produce. Come on, let's go. Come up here. Chase me. Chase me. Come on it! What? You guys are like slower than slimes. You're you're in the nether. You're supposed to be hot stuff. What is this? Get over here. Why is it? Are you with me, son? Okay, let's go. Okay, your turn. Come on. Can you get over here just a little? You know what? Follow me this way. It's faster. Thank you. Now I can aim this way. Did you drop me in? Nothing. One. These drop rates are. Ass. Absolute ass. There, now it's a thing. Okay, so I want to get rid of this anyway. So let's see. Let's make it so that, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll make it so that things don't come in here. Maybe I don't. Uh, you know what? I'll make it so it's really easy to get in here. Yeah. Kind of pretty, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Okay, up there. Head up. Let's get rid of this because I don't like it. Got to despawn. There we go. Yeah, get rid of that too. There we go. Easy to walk around. Nice little tourist attraction. Oh, geez. You guys just spawn in constantly, don't you? Well, you can't jump when you're swimming, can you? Yeah, yeah, okay. Just three. Okay. Uh, and I have put buttons all around here, too. But at least I have some idea of what I want for a room size. Down some glass later and whatnot. Wait, I want to get rid of this, too. All right, now... Yeah, leave that there. For fun, I do that. Oh, I know that's what I'll do. I'll make it look like I planned it. Um, yeah, I actually want it to come down there, but I'm, I'm out of stuff now. I have to use this. I could still do. I mean, it'll kind of work. Artistically, oh no, that's stuff I don't. Yeah, yeah, I want that there. Do that. 
you know, it kind of looks like something. Kind of a little pattern. Then I fill the rest in with glass, make it a room. Have a neat little thing. Then I'll put doors down later or whatever if anybody wants to go out. But yeah, I'm just doing this for line of sight right now. This is all going to be glass here. We got these guys are going to keep trying to get in. All right. Uh, buttons. Let's get those buttons done. Oh, hi. How's it going? No guess. Construction site. <clears throat> so I need more ice too. I'm so industrial. I don't design things to look pretty. I just make them basic and someone else can pretty them up. Except for my house. I've been doing this a few times, so I kind of <laughs> repeat myself a bit. Glass. Yes, I know I need more glass down there. Okay, I'll do that. I just like to clear out my inventory so I have room for stuff. Double deep slate. That can go away. That's temporary. That I'm going to keep on me for now. This can go up there temporarily. That can go away. Okay. Now, food. Right. potatoes. Alright, let's cook some of these up and grab some more from the field. Keep this full. i just been enjoying the potato diet again, not thinking about it, just because it's quick and easy. Good enough. And then, get some more from here. Just keep glancing at my screen because I keep seeing text in there thinking somebody's saying something to me. That's that stupid scoreboard. It's highly distracting. Did I break one of those? I did, didn't I? Oops. Seeds. More seeds. Taters. I want these taters. I want these taters. Uh, can you do this with this? No. Didn't think so. All right, 46, uh, I could probably do next batch. These ones might have despawned by the time I get out here though. Oh no, they're still here, okay. That's good. Let's keep this topped up at all times. All right. Now, I needed some more deep slate for the build down there, possibly. At least I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, this can be out of there. That split, damn it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, now I got one there. Okay. All right. Get. Um, and I'm going to be taking down sets of glass to start. That is... Oh, crap. I did that. Ugh. Fuck it. I don't care. Want to make sure I got these back in there. Yeah, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Here, tater tots. Is that it? Okay. There we go. That's filled up. That's good to go. Alright, we're gonna work on that, build that contraption, and uh, I am gonna need more ice down there. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this down too, anyway. That's there if I need it. What's our light situation like? That's not bad. I'll leave those there. Slowly working my way through that coal for lights here and there, but let's do some more ice. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, then we'll. Wow, well, I have room for buttons. I should probably just do this now. That's like spruce. Oh, yeah, there's the extra dark oak right there. That works. Uh, I'll leave one there as a marker. Okay, let's do all these first. Let's plankify everything. There we go. Ernie shot himself. <laughs> okay. How do you do that? What do you do? Shoot an arrow straight up? I've done that before. I usually duck at the last minute. 
<laughs> yeah, how? That's that's my question, exactly. This, you know what, I just... <laughs> I gotta save this, this is funny. I'm sorry, bro, this is funny. <laughs> how, indeed. Let's save that as a... Get to my desktop. There it goes, finally. Okay. Because I need to do something. Hang on, chat. I need to do something here. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Okay, okay. So we are, uh, there. <laughs> Gotta save that for later. <laughs> Enjoy that image. That's funny. That is funny. Yeah, I know. I know. Now you got me scared. You got me thinking the game's bugged or something. This is, this is tweaking me out, man. I don't like that. <laughs> Ernie was shot by Ernie. <laughs> Um, maybe give Aiden a call on his phone and go, dude, what are you doing behind the scenes? How could you do me like that? What is this? You know, Reptoid's broadcasting that right now. <laughs> How do I embarrass Ernie? Yeah, okay. I'll give him this effect and have him accidentally shoot himself somehow. <laughs> what it looks like. Yeah. I should want to get this done first. Oh, I should have the other one. I'll do the other button later. First, we're going to start doing all these buttons. Because I just want to get this done. Oh, apparently I'm hungry already. Okay. I want to get these mobs off the deck. Then when I'm working here, I'm not, I am not have to deal with them constantly spawning in next to me all the time. How many we got over there? I guess they oh he does he does go up buttons okay that's good I think they don't like it but that's good good enough for me probably go forward so I can see what I'm doing since I'm just doing buttons pushing them as I go I love you too, Song. Yeah, I hear you guys grunting away up there. Okay, mm -hmm. one more stack buttons. Might be able to get to the end of this. Oh my god, get off my desk. Right to the last one. Phew. At least on this side. I gotta do all that. So I need that much more ice. Chingo Ramos! Well, slap me with butter and call me toast. How you doing? I'm doing alright. You know about my pledge drive currently? You know I'm only gonna have about $125 to eat for three weeks? until the 17th of next month, well this month now, that's it. Once I run out of food, I don't eat anymore because I'm poor and disabled. Do you want to know how to help? It's real easy. I mean, there's subscriptions, but I don't get that for like six months because I'm a small streamer. I'll be fine in six months. There's another thing you can do to help out though, and you can tell other people all you want. And I'd appreciate that. Tell them to click that link right there and buy my albums on Bandcamp. I get 85% and you do that, I get it in three days. Three days, even if you only spend like five bucks. I'll get like four dollars or whatever in three days. I'll be able to buy groceries next week and the week after that. That's what I'm doing right now. How are you doing though? I have to do that while I can because... Um, wait, did I really need to go through here? Hang on. Um, 
Do I want to work on that? Oh, I do have this ice on me. I should probably do that now. But, oh, that's right. I really want to get more buttons for that front area before I cover it up anyway. So I need those oak buttons either way. I'm tired of this farm already and I haven't even done it? Yeah, I understand that. Uh, yeah, if you did that, but then uh, I'd have to give you my private email address for that. If you buy my albums, I get 85% and it looks good on that website as well that people are buying my albums, so that helps me there too. It helps my stats here and there. I mean, there is that. <laughs> We'd have to talk after the show. I'd have to, like, find you in Discord and DM you, and we'd have to get into a voice chat, and I'd have to get to know you and all that kind of stuff. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work, because, you know, my trust is, is not very high. My trust is not very high when it comes to, like, that kind of stuff. It's like, yeah, what else are you going to do? I mean, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know you that well. I haven't known you for 3 to 12 years like other people I know. That's a little different, right? I don't mind them having my my information. Oh, yeah, there's some there. Is that enough? That might be enough. I could do it. 28? Um, yeah, that should actually do it. Yeah, let's just go with this for now. You might have an ad. That is a lot of work. Yeah, it's it's a work for someone with mental disability. Is what it is. <laughs> it's uh, I'm already stressed out. I have a new roommate coming in, and it's not even like signed yet. It's just a a wish. I have a new roommate coming in, which is stressful for somebody with uh, social anxiety. I have somebody leaving, which I mean, there's a chance I could be homeless at the end of the month anyway. Um, if this roommate screws up somehow or causes me a lot of stress or whatever, I mean. It's the end of my show, it's the end of everything. That is a that is a chance. There is a chance that could happen. So it's not like I'm out of the, you know... Not like I'm in safe territory right now, you know? I mean, shit could happen. And then, last thing I want is taking unnecessary risks right now. Because it causes me stress, keeps me up at night, and then I can't sleep. And then my doctor goes, Why are you so stressed out again? What are you doing? You're not listening to me. You need to be following my directions. And I'll be like... But I needed food money, and there was this stranger on the internet that said they wanted my PayPal address, and they were just going to give me money. And he'll just be like, you idiot. Why are you taking risks like that and causing yourself this stress? I told you. What do I have to do? Ban you from the internet? <laughs> That's what will happen. My doctor won't be happy. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, 14 more. Let's make 14 more. Yeah, people don't know what it's like unless they know what it's like, you know? You know what you know what I mean? You know what it's like? You know what it's like to have all the fucking alphabet soup that I got going on? It's like I am I have a sleep disorder from all the shit I've been through in the past, which still haunts me, and then people put me through new shit on top of the old shit, which just amplifies it. It's like just like pouring gasoline on an on a forest fire, it's already burning. But it makes things worse. It just never goes out, you know? People wonder why I wake up in the middle of the night screaming. Um, yeah, I could tell you. I'm not going to tell you on the air here, but I've talked about it before. At least the mild form. But if I go into gory details, I'd be banned from Twitch if I said what's happened to me. I would be fucking banned from most platforms. And I have been banned from places before. I've been given a month time out on, like, face crack and all that shit for just telling the truth about what I've been through personally. So it's like, here's the thing, what kind of world do we live in where I can't tell the truth about my own personal experiences and what sick motherfuckers have done to me without me getting punished? How is that a fair fucking trial? I'm banned from my own courtroom telling my own story to my own judge? I get killed on the spot? I'm not allowed to talk about my pain? Fuck you, Earth! That's why I got divorced from humanity a long fucking time ago. Yeah, fuck this place. Once I realized how everything was actually set up in this world, I'm like, Oh, the whole game is rigged. George Carlin was right. Bunch of motherfuckers down here fucking with me. All right, I see how it is. So I said, no, that's it. Fuck it, I quit. I'm not fucking doing this anymore. Here, we have a lot of extra buttons. I can put half up here for now. Uh, I don't need 32, but I'll take them down. Yeah, my life ain't fun, bro. My life is not good. It's not fun. And I'm here to distract myself from all that shit. And now I'm starving on top of everything else. Isn't that just fucking lovely, right? So, 
I'm just trying to say, hey man, buying a couple albums. Uh, you don't even have to like it. You don't even have to listen to it. It's an ease. It's the easiest, most stress-free way for everyone involved, myself included, to have some food money in three days so I can buy groceries. And I thank you all for your support. And you don't have to, because I know most of you listening to this are as fucking poor as me, anyway. And if not, well, then you know, maybe you don't like me. Fine, fine. I get it. All right, whatever. Just let a lizard starve. Let an old man on disability just like slowly rot away. That's, you know, that, that's fine. I can't force you or anything, you know. There we go. That'll stop motherfuckers from spawning here. So now I gotta do my design. Uh, I'm gonna leave that as a beam going all the way down, but I'm gonna glassify the rest. Should I just cubify this whole thing? I think that's what I might do. Honestly. Um, I am gonna bring that up a level because that's to look strange otherwise but I'll do it like this for now let's, let's see yeah um yeah let's save our resources a little bit for now we'll figure this out as we go that just covers everything up here looking straight up gives me anxiety bro this makes me feel like I'm gonna fall down there because of my fucking synesthesia my synesthesia triggers my anxiety. Yay! <laughs> Isn't that just so much fun when one disability triggers the next one, which triggers the next one? It's called an avalanche, you know, when that happens. You just get one thing knocks into the other, bumps into the other, bumps into the other, bumps into the other, bumps into the other. Then you're up in the middle of the night going, ah! Fucking hell! Oh, Jesus Christ, it was another fucking dream. Oh my god! And then your heart's racing so fast and your adrenaline's so high, you actually have to get up and run around your room. You have to explain to your roommates why you're screaming and running around your room in the middle of the night and say, Oh, don't worry about that. That's just my disabilities. And they go, That's your fucking disabilities? Shit, man, I don't know if I can live with you if you're going to be like that all the time. It's like, Oh, I just had a rough week. <laughs> Story of my fucking life, right? I mean, what am I supposed to do otherwise? What am I supposed to do about it? Either I tell people what's going on, or I just leave them in the dark. If I leave them in the dark, it seems to be worse, because they're like, What the fuck? Why didn't you tell me? Oh my god, I could have done something! No, you can't do anything, trust me. Oh yeah, I'm putting glass in there anyway. I'm just doing beams in the corners, that's what I'm doing. Right, right. I want it there. Ah, this guy's right on top of me! You son of- you tried to snipe me, you fat fuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get down from there. All of you. All of you, get down from there. Yeah, I don't fucking care. Get down, get down. You're not allowed to- Ha, I got your cream. I got your cream, bitch. I got your fucking cream. Now I'm gonna kill your kids. Anybody else? Alright, we had enough of this shit. You done? You done? Where are you? Ah, uh, I thought so. I'll eat to that. Alright, now. Uh, I think I want to put two here, but I have to break out to do this. Let's do this side. And... I think that'll work. Oh yeah, and this one. Alright. Yeah, I accidentally put down too much. Now, wait, where is this level with... I actually... No, I kind of want to see this anyway. This will look nice with glass there, except maybe not there. Oh, now I want to get rid of the whole thing. I might have changed my mind. I mean, that'll look kind of nice if I could get rid of that wall. Come out this side, I just kind of want it to be like something nice to look at, so maybe I will get rid of this. Alright. Look at a little art piece. Oh, I touched it, I touched it. Um, now that that's. Oh, that piece is upstairs. Put basalt in there, maybe? Not blend in too much, but. Uh. Uh, yeah. Oh, glass, right? Huh. Etc. I guess I could. Oh, I don't want it facing that way. Gimme! Um, yeah, I guess that's okay. It's kind of neat. Alright. Put all our glass in, get rid of this. And I'm gonna make this glass. So you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this too. Maybe I get rid of that. Kind of want this on this side, though. <gasps> hey, I picked one up. There's another one here, though, right? 
Yeah, there we go. Let's make sure I got it. Yes, I did. Okay. Now, if I can hook this in there, that... Oh, I missed one. I should have done that that way. Let's float this on. If I crouch and then... Yeah. I can... Whoop. Boop. There it goes. Perfect. Alright, let's get these walls down. I don't know if I like this... Wait, I'm not sure. Let's see how it looks with this going. Yeah, there's this stuff here too. Let's make this out of the way. You can see through here, it'll look nice. Yeah, that'll look alright. That looks all right. I kind of want to get rid of this. I'm just redesigning the whole section now. Can't see behind there anyway. Now yeah, this looks looks a little strange because it's this stuff. I should be using this. That's a consistent pillar all the way around, all four of them. Yeah, that works. All right. Get this row of glass down first of all. So I'm happy with this area. Do this side. All right, then of course glass is going all the way along there. All right. Oops, last one there. All right, see it, it makes that corner really sharp there, but that's okay because this shows off the size of the room, right? We don't need it to be perfect. Oh yeah, and there's gonna be a door here later. That's right, I was gonna put a door on the ends here. So in case we ever want to come out of here, for whatever reason. That's going to be a door, and I don't know if this was going to be a door. I should make it, make it this way, or should This is going to be pretty wide open here. Looks really nice, though. Give you that 3D view. Yeah, I don't want a door there. I think I want it on this side. Just like the other one, so this has to go. Which means this has to go up by two, and then we should make a little bit of room here for hopping up. There we go. That's going to be a door, so get rid of that and that. And there's our future door. Just so. Now, same for this. This is our future door here. Done. All right. Let's finish this job. Just 20? Okay. Probably do this first. For safety reasons. I did all this except for the door. Good. All I gotta do is this now. Hey, we're done. Completely enclosed, but an absolutely gorgeous view. Okay, all the buttons are done. I need two doors. I should probably do the iron doors, right? The buttons and shit. Which means I need a button there. That button there would probably be best. That's fine. I hate blaze. Well, don't smoke it then. Don't smoke. <laughs> don't be smoking it if you don't like it. Hanging out with them blaze boys, huh? Okay, two irons doors, um, I guess the button type doesn't matter. Eventually I'll put down some, some blue stuff. The blue stuff I like that's not dangerous. 18 something, also 1900, I can sleep. Also get that in. Can't stop, think I'm addicted. All right, so, oh, uh, Ernie, I want you to answer a couple of questions. This is going to be sort of just like a fun little thing we can do on the air. It's like a fun little, you know, get to know your bro kind of thing, right? All right, so, um, you're addicted to that, right? Okay, so, 
I'm gonna mention a few things that uh, you might like. I don't know, but just for the just for the fun of it, I want you to answer with one word. Just whatever I say, just say addicted, right? So I can say like Minecraft. Like if it was the other way around, you say Minecraft. I say addicted, right? Because I love the game. Okay, so I'm gonna say to you Minecraft, and then you would say addicted, right? I mean, we'd have to be in voice to do this, right? Do it properly. So maybe I'm not doing this the best way, but okay. So I'll say Minecraft, you say addicted. Um, okay, yeah, you can type it out. You can type it out. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so Minecraft addicted. Um, I'm going to say your favorite music. And you say... I'll wait till he types it out. There's a bit of a delay, folks. This will be good, though. Let's get this to appear in chat. Oh, I gotta do more ice too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. I don't know. Everything is good. No, you're supposed to say addicted. <laughs> Not IDK. Everything is good. Emoji face. You can't do it, man. Everything I ask you, you gotta say addicted. It's like one word answer, man. It's easy. This is an easy quiz and it's fun. Okay, so I said Minecraft. You said addicted. I say your favorite music, and you say. <laughs> he'll get there, he'll get there. Hard to do on the air like this, though. Addicted. There you go! Alright. Um, let's see. Um. Let's just say I'm gonna assume you're straight, so. Uh. Sexy ladies, your answer is? We have to wait 12 seconds, folks. <laughs> Can't say I have a girlfriend. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, if you were single, sexy ladies, one word answer. Hey, there you go. See how easy this is? This is so easy, folks. Okay, um, I'll think of I'll think of one more. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. This is so much better in voice. I should have done it in voice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, remember, you have to answer addicted, right? Uh, okay, so. <laughs> What got stuck in your throat last night? Answer that one. Has to be that word. Really? Is that what you were doing? Addicted? Oh my god. I didn't know you had a dude over last night. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Um, maybe, I, maybe I should have reworded that. Uh, or rephrased it or something. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't mean to out you like that. Oh, sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, Henry. Uh, <laughs> I mean, but, you know, hey. Hey, I'm not... I, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'd say it's, it's 2024, man. That's just fine by me. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to question. I'm just going to, you know... Hey, you be you, right? You know, I got to be fair to the guy, right? I mean, guy's an adventure seeker. I'll give him that. All right, so I got some cobblestone there. Uh, I'll leave those out of the way now. Oh yeah, extra buttons, I gotta put those away. Anyway, thanks for playing along, Ernie. <laughs> I appreciate you. <coughs> Hopefully you don't mind my sick sense of humor. <laughs> got Florica laughing. See, it's better in voice. <laughs> I swear if someone clips this, my girl sees this, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> See, it's better in voice, and I'm just, I'm not presenting it well because I'm so busy explaining it in the 12 second delay between like when you hear it and then I have to wait for it to appear in text. It's better when you're just like, you're working at the corner store, you know, and you know, hey, hey, you know, before you go, I got a quick joke for you. All right, uh, you know what? I just want to ask you a few questions. Like, I, you know, I'm really into music. 
I would describe myself as music addicted, right? Like, I just love music. Life without music, what's the point, right? And the customer would be like, yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. Somebody you know, right? It's like, you know, like uh, if, if, if you asked me a question, just said music, one word, right? I'd say addicted. You know, you say like, you know, sexy women or something like that. I say addicted. You know, you want to play this? I'll, I'll, I'll ask you a few things. I know what you like, Jim. You know, you say like that. You warm up a bit and then you say, hey, you know, you know, your favorite music. And you wave your hands in the air like, huh? And they go, addicted. And you're like, yeah, exactly. You know, sexy ladies, you know, I know I know you swing, bro. And it's like, yeah, addicted, bro. High five. Like, hell yeah. All right. So what was in your throat last night? And they go, addicted. What the hell? What do you mean? What does that got to do with anything? Then you just sort of lay it on. It's like, oh, I, I, I didn't know you swung both ways, bro. And they're like, and they look at you for a second like, what just happened? What? And then you just say, addicted. You look at them and you go, <laughs> And you stare at them like, ah, uh, and then they're like, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> like, once they clue in, it's hilarious. You just got to do it really fast. It's just better like that. It's a good party thing. Just don't do it around some people because you know how people are. Some people will just absolutely freak out. Get a punch in the eye if you do that to the wrong person. But <laughs> Yeah, if somebody clips that, you know, there's me asking the question, what was that stuck in your throat last night? And all of a sudden Ernie is typing, I think did question mark. <laughs> it's like... Oh, that's right. Maybe you were asleep at the time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in Texas. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. Oh my god, yeah. Um, hmm. Texas gang, hell yeah. All right. I um. I could probably actually toss this away. I'm gonna be picking up a lot of stone as I go. Oh, this is supposed to be over here. All right, I'm not forcing around the silly sense of humor I got. I gotta get to work. What time is it? 5:30. Okay. I got an hour and a half till he's here. Let's go finish this thing off a little bit more. Get some of the glass down. Bop, bop, bop. Beverage. I need this. Well, now you guys can improv that joke however you want. Take it, use it, share it, embarrass your friends and family. Someone might have heard it before, though. You'll do that around the wrong person. They'll be like, oh, I'm not falling for that twice. It's like, oh, you, uh, you've you been addicted before. <laughs> I see, I see, I didn't know. Hey, well, now I know. Oh, I forgot to do the damn doors. All right, I gotta do iron doors and a button. All right, at least I can speed hop along here. I'm not gonna speed boat until. Maybe I sh should I do one test run? I probably should. I just wanna at least get this whole thing done. <laughs> just all the ice and buttons for sure. And then I gotta do that lower uh, area, like along here, it's all gotta be uh, cobblestone along this, right? Otherwise, the boat will go sailing right off to the end, just like pew, and you go straight out. And your boat burns, and then you burn your butt, and then, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Everyone knows the drill. You know, everyone knows the drill. That's not a drill. This is a drill. Wait behind me. Oh, I need more ice. Where are you gonna get more ice? Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, roll at the bottom of the nether lake. That's gonna help. Stop, drop, and roll. Hey man, you're the one hanging out with the blaze. You stop, drop, and roll me one. Come on. I mean, that's up to you, actually, but, you know. Could be. Oh, we don't need that much more ice. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be quick and easy. I'll leave that for Phazon to deal with. Now, uh, did I do all the buttons at the end? I... I think so. Oh, it's nice to have this almost done. I mean, I got a lot of glass to do. That's what we'll be doing once Phazon gets here. Get him putting some glass. Get off my desk, you damn bug! Jesus Christ, dude. Go hide your dumb ass before I end up feeding you to the humans. I got all the buttons back here. Yeah, this is a little tiny room. That's fine. All right. So we need a lot of buttons. And at this point, I'm going to 
Oh yeah, I kind of did that. Okay, so I'm going to just start placing all this down. Let's see if I can get a little routine going on here. Yeah, I don't know. I start so slowly, I'm not sure if this is going to time well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end up placing a few there. I can't go... Can I go a little faster? Uh, too many are missing. Thought I had a good thing there, but I'm missing too many. I have to do it the slow way. Ice Strider, by Strider. Let's do it like this. Yeah, it's not too bad. Got any more? No, okay. That's what we gotta do. Okay. And then the top two rows are gonna be glass as we break out all the stone. So I need to bring down, let's see, that's probably one stack there. That'll be a stack here, so that's two. We don't worry about any changes in here. Two stacks. And we get out here. So this will be up to here would be three. Here up to the end will be four. Start here. This would be five. Six. Right up here would be seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, nine and a half. You have ten, maybe a little bit more. Okay, I'll be picking up some stone on the way too as I do this. So maybe. Maybe I just use that. I should just start with like, I'll just bring two stacks for now. So I have like a buffer zone. And I'll start slapping those down into a section then breaking out the other stuff and just move it all forward. Yeah, that's what I'll do. By I, I do need some at least, a little bit. I need to do doors as well. Can't forget that. All right, let's take two stacks out for now. And I could probably do three stacks of glass. Iron doors. How many do I have in here right now? I have three right here. That's good. And I can use, I could probably just use those buttons that are down there. Back we go. my turn. Oh, I got half a portal. Look at that. Bibbly wobbly, bibbly wobbly. I should probably start at this end. Now that I think about it. Oh yeah, I gotta do it this way, right. I'll do this side first with the glass and whatnot. the lower ones first. I have a feeling I'll pick them up better like this. I'll get some of them back anyway. So I'm right next to them, so this should be okay. I should have left a marker. I know how far I'm going. Where's the thing? Okay. Because if they break right next to me, I'll get most of them back. Let's break 
like this one. Let's see where we are. Not bad. I could go one more. That'll look nice. Now let's do another one. Do two. Yeah, that looks good for a tunnel. Now these ones should drop down close enough to me, at least sometimes. That's the thing about doing this is I lose a few because I I don't like taking the risk and I don't like fussing around too much. I just like speeding through. As long as I'm careful, I don't jump up there. So now I can do all the glass. All right now. I don't want to lose these, but I'm going to try and set up a pattern here. I'm right next to it like this. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, there we go. Now this way, I have to go back. I can just go here. Oops, I'm out. Need more. There we go. Let's see how it looks from this side. So you can see all the way through there now. It doesn't block anything. That looks pretty nice. Look at that. And we can really zip along here now. Alright, let's do the next section. But this time, I'm going to bust this out right here. Let's see where I'm at. Same spot then. Yeah, okay. Alright. Now all the mobs want me. Got a skull on exit, nice. My synesthesia does that trip me out again. Welcome to another episode of Disability Craft, where, where my disabilities act up midstream. change the top to glass later but I like the idea of this being a solid line that you can see from if you're flying around there with an elytra later you can land on this thing a lot easier because <laughs> you can see it it's hard to see the glass sometimes oh there's a ghast having a swim of course now we can sit here and just chill out and enjoy the view it's always good all right let's do the next section pretty good okay how many have we got yeah we got lots now what are you doing stupid game Put your thing right let's put those doors in I didn't do the buttons on these doors yet uh, do I want the doors outside yeah probably oh, I don't have any buttons on me I would help do that first uh, oh yeah I was gonna put it on the inside anyway so I need a button here so let's do a test first, make sure everything works. Give me a button. There's a button. Actually, you know what? The floor button works fine too. That's true. I don't have to even worry about that. I don't have to worry about looking ugly. That's a floor button. I just need buttons outside if I do that though. Um I'll just leave them there for now. Nothing's getting in. I'll figure it out later. How I want it to look. Choo -choo. Okay, let's get this stuff done. Now, I want to leave a marker there, so we're going to leave a hole. But as we go along here, we know where we're going to be putting all our glass and such. Alright, here comes the really long, boring bit. 
damn bug. Get. Go. Somewhere else. Leave me alone. I'm streaming. You know what really bugs me? Bugs on my desk when I'm trying to work. Sheesh. Ground floor apartments, man. <laughs> Always something crawling in my window. Oh, I have a mother spider that has given birth to babies now. Uh, when those fuckers grow up, there's going to be a lot less bugs in my place. Because I'm very happy that Spidey is going to be very well fed. Well, the few that are here are, are, are they are barely keeping up. They can't keep the population down. But Mama Spider says, I have a solution for that, Mr. Reptoid. And sure enough, she popped out them babies. She's been carrying that nest around for about a week. And all of a sudden, I see them all up in the corner. Probably about 35 spiders. It's like, welcome home, kids. You're in the right place, believe me. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> there be no more bugs in here in no time. I guess I gotta check something. There should be no spawns. Yes, there we go. That's what I want to see. Now there is a block coming up. I got some more here, and there's two there. Okay, good. What I might do is start going back from here. It's not gonna be enough, though. Yeah, so that's what I did. I thought I would end up doing a long chunk like this. I went a little too far, so I'm just gonna grab some more. Uh, maybe I'll just do this one wall first. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna do it right. This is looking much nicer. I like to be able to show phase on what you can do in survival. Make it look. Oh, uh, I would love to go pick some of that up, but uh, there's a shrieker over there, and I ain't messing with it. That's three glow squids spawning there. Like collecting it for whatever reason. I sure hope it does work, Ernie. Is it your first time doing one of those? I just deal with game physics and set up an area where they tend to spawn in and just whack at them. You know, just go for the knees. I don't do anything too high tech, so. Uh, one more stack should do. Uh, what else did I need? Uh, I two buttons on the outside. What kind of buttons do we want on the outside? Wait, they're up here. Let's use the oak ones. Two buttons on the outside. Some glass, maybe some more glass. Uh, it's almost nighttime. I should probably keep up on my sleep pattern. Just in case. I actually, now that I'm here, let me just check a couple of things. See if I have any DMs or early announcements from the phase. Just in case there's no messages, let me check the... Uh, he would have left something. No, there's nothing in the staff room. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Good there. Nothing there. Okay. I think we're good. Right. Enough of that. Enough of that. Okay. Two buttons. We're good. And I lost my chat because I was checking Discord. My chat is now back. Everything's all stacked windows underneath my game. So I have to click tabs on the bottom or sidebar and all this stuff just to get into another window. And then of course it overlays everything else. And then I have to like put it under everything by clicking everything back on top of it. Yay. I'm a one monitor lizard. Ha! Ah, monitor lizard. Okay. Right here. Where do I gotta go?
I'm out. Oh, I thought a stack would have done it. I need more than that. Ah, oh, damn it. That's annoying. Well, I'm just going to work on the end here. Let me put my buttons down for my doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you gassed. This is so fast just running along here already. Nice. Okay, hey, where do I want it? Right here. One on this side. Right there. Perfect. Now I can arrange the doors the way I actually want them to face. I want them out on this side. Correct. That opens that way. System is good. Okay. Oh, I need a bit more of this stupid deep sleep, though. Probably, like, I'll grab a half a stack. I think it was, like, 20 or left or something. Oh, let's grab a half stack. Oh, there's gold squid stuff over there, and I can't pick it up. Not that I need it. It's just nice to collect it. You know, I hate seeing it go to waste. There's... The squid of the cave is just as stupid as the squid of the ocean. Half stack! Okay, I'll even grab more, because that way I have too much. It's a nice thing about working at this end first. All my supplies are right here. fast I go even when I'm eating. Oz, you're running along here on ice. It's so fast. Wait till I get my boat set up. There, done. Okay, now we're going to be working on glass. Let's go back to my spot where it starts, which is that little light spot up ahead. Where we're going to be bringing in glass right here. Let's start right at this point. There. Are. Okay. So now I know where that starts. Awesome. Now we got this one here. Okay. Just working on my skating rink. Oh my god. Sliding around no matter what I do. Okay, let's see how much of this we get back. I'm going to lose a few in the process, but this is just so much faster than doing it the way you're supposed to do it. Because the item flies in any random direction from the block that breaks by about a block. And because there's other blocks at my foot level, they tend to fly out into the lava sometimes too. So I don't probably have enough to even do all that, so maybe do this now. I gotta be very careful so I don't glitch out and jump up onto the railing. Oh, it's so freaky. But you gotta go fast enough that you can pick everything up. You gotta be ready to freak out if you... Oh god, there's a gas that sees me. Okay, it's not blowing up too much stuff. See, that's the risk about doing this. Where are you? Oh, you're in the freaking lava again. Where's my... Oh, yeah, I got it right there anyway. Now it's not coming up, is it? Oh, yes, son of a bitch. Anyway, 
Oh, now the little kid's gonna come in. I gotta watch out for that. The only problem with leaving these open while you're working. First, to stop something from jumping down. There we go. I got only 12 left. Start on the other side a little bit. There we go. Now we got a fucking view. Oh, hell yeah. 12, huh? As far as I can go this way for now. Now, before somebody else comes down, oh, there's a lot of those guys up there. Holy shit. do for now. We'll bring some more down. I guess it's about time to test the boat. Where's my boat? I don't have my boat on me. Oh yeah, I left it upstairs. Okay. We'll be doing that soon. Actually, I should probably do this entire run all the way to the back corner before I do any boat testing so I don't go scooting out there. glass except I'll leave a couple up here because I have to demo this to phase on as well oh no. yes there thank you um which is oh wait that's not gonna be enough is it that's the other problem ice is fine we need a little bit more I'll show them how to do that that's an easy fix but I'm gonna need more glass before I could do a test run so that means I do have to do at least I'm guessing Three, so that is another half of that. Uh, uh, plus another half, and then plan this out. If I get three fern eye running, it should be enough. What my plans are. That's it in the way right now. Just move. Um, and then we're doing. Uh, okay, wait. Whoops. Da -da 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 -da. And four more, yeah, let's do it like that. That. Uh, when I start working, I get a better PC because I really hate this. I really want to stream. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm just gonna save this wherever I have. Yeah. Extra emergency sound. Wait, how much glass do I have in there? Just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I gotta sleep again. Three seconds, it says. Okay. Well, Ernie and anybody else on this SMP. You know somebody now who can uh, set up your OBS for you so you can sound fucking awesome. If you like my settings, if you like that my music is consistent, the levels are good, my voice has good compression, you can hear everything, and that everything looks good and has, um, you know, considering it's a stream, it doesn't look too, uh, too pixelated when I do a lot of like moving around like this really quickly, changing scenes. It tends to catch up pretty quick, you see that? I can't see that right now, I'm just imagining because I see my VODs later. but. If you want that effect where things catch up and look really good and you can still run shaders and still play the game and all this stuff, just talk to me. When you get ready to set all that stuff up, we'll set an appointment and uh, I'll get you all hooked up. Spend a few hours just chatting and just testing some stuff and uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. You got it. You guys are letting me hang out on your SMP and just chill and do all this stuff. So I mean, hey, community, right? It's all about teamwork. You guys are letting me here, so I'll help you out. No worries. All right, so I got my glass. Um, I'm going to cook some more of this up so that when I'm coming back here, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to work on. I got to do that. So we're going to get three of these fern eye running. 
And actually, so this is out of the way for now. I'm gonna do this because I want to get this started. This song is very warpy. It's like something I would have done. Like, I know it's supposed to sound like this. Let's make it sound all fucked up because it's funnier. And I like it. Let's see, I haven't checked on these guys today. Yeah, we got uh, three there and three there. Yeah, they're all good. Let's go say hi. Gotta wait for some glass to cook anyway. Who's over in the corner? It's slime, it's jello, it's squish. Then we have jelly, sticky, and cubic. Hey guys, how's it going? Let's go swimming. You guys are looking kind of dry. Come on. I'm swimming with dad. Catch me. Catch me. Slow pokes back there. Look at these guys. They're so slow. Slime, you're already here. Do we count that? Do we count that? You were already here when I jumped in. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Yeah, see, they love they love swimming with me. They miss me. <laughs> these guys are great. These guys are hilarious. All right, everybody. Follow me. Come up onto the uh, nice little... Why can I not get up there? Oh yeah, because of the head bonkers. Ah, here, come up here. There you go. You guys can enjoy the view with me. Good place to sun yourself, because the sun comes in here in the evening, and if you get cold, you can warm up. Isn't that nice? You guys got an overworld view and everything? Look how nice that is. I treat you guys so well. I spoil them rotten. All right, let's take all the glass out first. I have room for more stuff. 26, it's gotta get, I'm gonna get these guys down to zero. So I should take my buckets out. Uh, two, one there, take these three. Let's get some more from the system. Eh. Bum, 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 bum. Bounce. I hate carrying glass and lava in my hands because if I misclick, I screw up. I have to be very careful how I do this. There we go. Now I'm all safe. I am going to put my axe back there. Yeah, I got to get my boat ready for testing. I'm going to have this on hand. Where is I putting it? Is it this one or this one? This one. Okay, I'll leave that there. Some more out of here. That up there. And actually, this is a good chance for me to take a break. That's going to be um, 20 more clicks. So I'll let you guys watch the furnace, and uh, I'll be back in about two minutes. I'll just turn the music up and turn my mic off. If you don't hear me later, remind me to turn my mic on. Be right back.
All right, I turned my mic back on. I can see it moving. I know it's there. So we're good. What do we got here? 19, hey, almost perfect timing. There's 20 out of there. I can put this 20 in there. Absolutely perfect timing. Well, down by one. Come on, I just need one more. 99.9% .9 perfect. Yeah, I should probably take this one out. There we go. That's pretty decent. Now I can do this one. There we go. What do we got for glass? That's not bad. All right, we're gonna bring down, uh... yeah, I'll bring down three stacks. Three stacks of glass on the way. And I think that is about it, other than some food to keep that topped up at all times. All right, get my chair all comfy again. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if I'm going to have uh, another three stacks. So after I'm done this, I got three stacks down, three there. That might not quite do it either. Can't do my testing until it's completely closed off at the corner because I don't want to go scooting out in the damn lava ocean. Because this thing is going to be fucking fast. <clears throat> Faster than an elytra. Almost died in my heart. There's a clip of me almost dying in my hardcore world because I glitched out and landed in solid netherrack and had to dig my way out. And if I I didn't know which way I was facing for a minute, if I had accidentally misclicked and dug down below me, it was over a lava lake. Everything below me, so I had to dig to the side or up to get out. Now in this case, same sort of thing, except instead of falling into it, I would just go straight into it, like right under this block. This is uh, lava level right there. But when I'm on the ice here, it's one block above, and then it's rock, but yeah, lava level. Yeah, I gotta work from here. So let's start all the way, let's get this section done. I wanna at least be able to show this off. So we're going up to here. I'm gonna be doing this. Let me just put this down now as a marker, actually. Oh, we know where we're going to go. Okay, let's go this way. Got room for stuff. We're all good. Let's go see how many I get. I mean, I get about 75% of them, which is fair enough. They're all just uh, construction blocks anyway, initially, but they're the kind you want to keep. If you lose a couple, it's not a big deal. And I think... I don't want to lose too many, so I will do this section next as well. Hopefully no gas. Don't want them blowing up my ice blocks. This always freaks me out a little bit. Jeez, four in a row dropped in. Okay, and I got that one. There we go. See, I got enough back. That's not too bad. All right. Good, 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 good. I'm actually going to do this level first. It's just easier. Alright, now let's do this again. It's my speed gun. I guess I have to do it like this. Nice view, yeah. Oh, this is one. See, mm -hmm. that's the other thing why I made it a little lower this time because you can see them if they go onto the edge to look around. You can see their feet. Because <laughs> usually I make the glass higher, and I don't care about resources so much. Oh, there's a floater there. I didn't notice before. But if there's any hogs or whatever, you hear them grunt, and you get to see their little leggies there. And if you really wanted to, you could just bust a piece of glass as long as you can replace it. But you don't want to leave a single block open because those little kids will come in here and they stop your boat. You're going really fast and also it's just like, Bleh! and you're like, lose all your speed. You're at zero in no time. They're really annoying. And I could put glass down here too, but that's an option. I just want to do all this primary real estate first, and then we worry about all the fancy stuff. So I got what? A stack and 50. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.
What if I did it by 16? right there we go yeah, let's do this side Well, your your farm is working, I guess, technically, Ernie. That means you're getting lots of them and getting slaughtered a bit. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a good thing. 50. So, uh, how close am I to the end? Because I got that little section. Yeah, it's going to take the other glass, plus probably a bit more, yeah. my hitbox by a fraction. I got nine left. I'm just going to go up and get some more. But, oh yeah. You know what? I can boat from here. I can boat from here. Let's test out this section, all right? <laughs> I hate this game. Oh my god, yeah. All right, here we go. First boat test. How fast this goes. I'll go right through the portal. Oh, it stopped. I was going full speed. I don't know if I got up to full speed, but I didn't let off the gas. That's not bad. That means I won't hit the portal. That's why I figured 11 was never enough. I landed right here. Look at that. Do a recount again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 or 16. That's the new number. That's what I gotta do. Now I know every other world I go into, I'm going to just keep it a nice Minecraft 16. And I can, I should be able to go full speed. Well, I guess I'll find out. I'll find out. And that'll be the first direction I go, is from the corner to the portal. Full speed. Like, hard W. Hard capital, italicized, bold, neon, green, W. Just, and we'll see if we end up going right into the portal or not. I should not. If I did this right, I will not go into the portal. And that way I know, I, unless there's a glitch, that's the other thing, is this is dangerous, right? That's another reason I like the stone there, because if you glitch out, you should get stuck in the stone rather than being in the glass and, like, slide through into the lava side, right? If there's a slight glitch, you should bounce back into the tunnel. I hope. Oh my god, I sure hope so. Dangerous, dangerous work. Okay, I'll just get rid of these. How are you guys doing? Let's get some more glass. It's 51, okay. Make it 64. Don't worry about the rest later. Everything's going, okay. I'll just come back here for 64 at a time. That works. That's pretty fast. Just drop by, pick some up, you know? That works. Let's do the next section of glass. It's almost quarter after six. All right. So probably about 10 to 7, I'm probably going to mess around doing something else. I'm not too focused when Phazon suddenly arrives. I want to be ready for that. So I'll probably just chat with you guys and 
do some stuff around the house or whatever and then drop out to make sure his, uh, his audio is working and stuff like that. Make sure everything's ready to go for 7. Sometimes it's a little earlier than 7 and I take good advantage of that time so we can max it out. Two hours once a week is definitely not enough time. So I gotta make good use of it. It's so nice along here and it, you know you can see up when you're in the boat really well so you'll be able to look around and stuff taking the sights. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's that bad. That much of a frustration building that thing? Damn, dude. Three thousand blocks in the nether and I don't have anything. Oh yeah. Do you have a backup kit? I always make a backup kit for it. How did this guy get in here? Oh he must have dropped in behind me when I wasn't looking. They can't spawn in here. What the fuck? I got ripped off. He snuck in on me. Well, I have to go out and get more glass, so that's the thing. So he'll despawn, right? There we go, last piece of glass. At least I didn't lose it. Too lazy. Man, that's why I do stuff off camera. I do the boring stuff where I have to like, I always have a, an emergency kit hidden somewhere. I take a barrel and I bury it at some random coordinate that I memorize. Or I write it down and keep it on my desktop somewhere. And it's never near anything that anyone would find. Oh, see this guy spawned in up there. See, that's kind of neat. You can see them a lot better down here when they're on the edge too. There's another one up there too. Yeah, see, that's not so bad. This will be kind of entertaining. Let's get the next stack of glass. So yeah, this is why I'm, I'm showing Faze on all this stuff. I mean, Ernie, you could take free advantage of all the stuff that I'm showing him, too. You can go back and watch everything from uh, the last few VODs. They're all titled when he's involved. You can go to that timestamp and just start watching all the stuff I teach him, because it's like a class. All those hot tips from Lizard Face. Safety Lizard. That's why I always set up a village and trades and lock them in and uh, I make a spare kit. Before. Even the stuff I'm doing right now, I always have is there. The only thing I don't have a spare of, of course, is the shulkers, which is why I was asking for, for your help with some more shulkers last time. And it's like, you know, if I, I lose them for whatever reason, however, it doesn't even matter. It's like, oh crap, that's something I don't have access to yet right now. And it just helps speed things along. <laughs> <laughs> um, for Faison's sake and the show I gotta do all that ice I have 48 glass right now this is gonna take a minute to get going and that is gonna be 369 90 something I'm gonna need more glass that's gonna be an odd number I do two more I should do three anyway next time I should have done all four, I guess, because that would have worked out about just right. So that's going to be four, six, C04 anyways. Maybe I'll do four next time. That is going to be one, two, three, four, and then uh, half and half. And then uh, one, two, three, four. That exact amount next time we do sand. Let's load this all up and get this ready the way we want it. Oh, I got... Oh, that's right, because I didn't split that yet. I uh, do obviously. To do this. There we go. No! Split, damn it. Maximize our lava use. Right there. Okay, good. Yeah, 
Hey, there's another stack I can use right now. I like doing this. <clears throat> there we go. Let's get it in place. It's here. Let's get her done. Oh, that's right, I changed that before, didn't I? Ah, I see, okay, never mind. Uh, I'll leave it for now. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna put one there. If I can do that. And again, why do I, why do I not go straight up there? Because I don't want that to look like an exit. I want everything else to look like a possible exit. I could have gone anywhere. Look at these lights everywhere. Looks like some lights go back that way and around that way. So maybe when I came out, I went this way because some stuff has been mined out here too. That's the idea. It's quite the overhang right there though. I have to fix that later. <coughs> but that spot over there, that don't look like an exit. It does have a bit of backlighting. That's just to stop mobs from spawning. But it could be glow lichen. And I'll probably put Glowy down there later, so it doesn't look like Torch. <clears throat> and then, it's a safety strat. So if you're on a public server somewhere, and you don't know all the people, especially if it's anarchy, then you gotta hide your shit. And that's one way to do it. <clears throat> people find your stuff, they gotta go out somewhere and go the wrong direction, and not find your stuff. I also bury my tunnels usually a lot longer. Okay, uh, I want to do this first here, yeah, right? Yeah. And we're doing 64, so that means we're doing 16. <clears throat> then you're going to play hardcore. Yeah, you know it might be kind of fun. Um, how long till you get a new computer, do you think? Because you know how you attract an audience and get new people if you're streaming? You have a title like very first time playing hardcore please help just think if you saw that when you're flipping through twitch channels and there's some guy with one viewer and it says very first time time playing hardcore please help you'd probably be curious enough to click on it right that's how you market yourself and grow your audience <clears throat> that's a hot producer's tip three four five six seven 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <clears throat> yeah, I would, uh, I would try to save some things for your first week or month of streaming. Try and get at least seven or eight new people right away that you don't already know. Because that can be really beneficial. Because then when you stream again after that, out of those, you know, several followers, one or two of them might randomly show up. And if you say things like, hey, chat, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> tell a friend or whatever, you know, you start talking about stuff like that, right? Then they start bringing more people in. And then they might bring in their whole community. And then you get that magical thing called a raid. All of a sudden, one day you have 16 strangers just sit. What? I'm wearing gold? Why are you so, why are you so angry? Why are you pointing that thing at me? The hell? Jeez, dude. Angry pig? Was it not the right color of gold? What is this? But yeah, it's a great marketing thing. And if you have to be able to use some marketing. <clears throat> That's why I want to get your audio good, and your camera good, and everything as good as possible. And then it's a matter of titling your presentations to like get new people to click and watch. I know how to do all this stuff. All you gotta do is have a little meeting with the safety lizard here and you'll be all set. But if it's like not your first time playing hardcore and you're live, you don't want to say, oh, it's my first time playing hardcore live, because, you know, that'll catch up with you, right? So you got to be honest, you got to be sincere to get that kind of audience. You don't want a bunch of trolly chatters that are just like, you know, constantly at your throat about every little dumb mistake you make, unless that's your thing. If you're really into that kind of crowd, yeah, that's easy to find. If you want a, cr a chat to constantly say, oh, you suck, what an idiot, God, this guy's such a dweeb, you know. You can find those all over Twitch as well. It depends what kind of audience you're going for, how you want to market yourself. 
everyone does the thing like, you know, oh, I suck at this game or whatever, you know, all the, all the stuff you see everybody else doing. <clears throat> if everyone's doing something, you're less likely to get clicks. Unless it's like trending. If it's trending, use it. If it's not trending, like Minecraft is not trending. So you're kind of dead in the water in Minecraft for like getting new subscribers, new followers. So what you want to do is you want to have something, you know, that's um, for the people that there's going to be, if you're doing Minecraft streams, no matter what other games you play, if you're doing Minecraft streams, you're going to get people that um, <clears throat> already used to being called dumb. Yeah, well, I mean, you can play on that. That's the thing is you can take your natural behaviors turn it into a bit of a caricature of yourself and ham it up and enjoy you know enjoy your dumbness or whatever it is you're into or whatever it is you, you like about yourself that you're just used to and do that and market yourself that way that's another way to do it it works <clears throat> and it's easy to remember because you don't have to like and it stops you from being somebody you're not too right like just be yourself they say but you also have to think about well if myself is shy quiet and never talks how many people are gonna like want to follow that right so if you're into like having a few people in chat always to talk with it's a good idea to have you know something about yourself that uh, people can come back for and it's consistent even if you play different games if you're a multi streamer then what you want to do is have uh, a personality or a caricature or something that people come back for so they don't care about what game you're playing they could hate the game but they're there for you because they think you're entertaining or something right <clears throat> I like doing bits. Yeah, well, there you go. So, are you good at doing jokes on your own, or do you prefer to like bounce your jokes off somebody else? And then that's your personal level of comfort. And then you have to think about, um, you know, how fast you want to grow, where you want to grow, what type of audience you're trying to develop, and if you want raids or not. I mean, you could always just have a stream that just says "raid me." You know, don't say "please" because it sounds like you're begging. Just say "raid me." And if you say something like "raid me biatch" or whatever, then they as a lot I know a lot of people I talk to and they see I ask this is how I, I do market research right I'll just ask people you know I'll get to know somebody like I'm getting to know you guys and I might even just ask you things They're like you know when you stream you know when has been your biggest raid what type of you know what has got people to stick around the most and I just ask people whether they have 5,000 followers or just six you know you like to play with others okay so if you like doing bits with other players I mean that's the whole uh, the Losers channel, I'm a big fan of that. I've been following them since, like, you know, before they were the Losers. They were other people doing other things. A couple other people. Most of them are the same. But I watch them. I don't care what game they play at all. Like, I don't even care. I'm not a big GTA fan, but I'm watching them for the characters. I'm watching them because they've, they've been friends for, like, something like eight years. Eight years they've known each other, for the most part. And so that's a huge development, right? Imagine... Imagine gaming with the same people for eight years on and off and then doing like two or three channels together. That's going to be fire no matter what, right? So that's what's going on there. Speaking of fire, I got to start putting some, some stuff in here. Oh, yeah, that's for next time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. Okay. Um, so I watch for them, not their choice. I mean, I, I have certain specifics I prefer. Of course, I'll like some games more than others, you know, but... Anyway, it's kind of a balance, right? I, I don't overthink this stuff, but I do think in general, broad brush stroke kind of terms, and then I don't have to worry about the details. The details are when you're streaming. Like right now I'm talking to you, you're watching the stream, you know, chat's pretty quiet today. I never know when there's gonna be like eight people chatting up a storm. A couple of friends will show up for a minute and leave. Others will stick around for like two hours and chat constantly, you know. So it's always different that way. Um, where was I going with that? Um, but basically, depending on how you want to grow and what, you know, it depends what you you like. If you like only having one or two friends in your chat all the time, that's easy to do. That's going to happen probably anyway, most likely. But if you want to actually, you're just like, you know, I would like it if there's always like 15 or 20 people in chat. I think that would be my comfort zone because that would really motivate me. You have to think about your core values and what you're comfortable with and what you like and grow to that point And then you don't have to try to grow anymore. You don't have to do anything as, as past that point because your consistent crew will always be there for you. You have like 60 followers, you'll always have like 10 people in chat no matter what you do. You just start streaming, they're like, yay Ernie, yeah let's go, you know, no matter what you do. And then sometimes if you do something that they really like, like if you say, you know, late Minecraft stream might not be on long, your core crew will be there. 60 followers, you'll have like 5 to 10, no matter what. 
but your Minecraft crew will suddenly jump in. So there'll be an extra 10 or 15 people that remember. It's like, Arnie's doing Minecraft. God, it's been like six years since he did Minecraft. This is awesome. He's doing a hardcore build or something like that. And everyone just tells their friends, hey, Arnie's live and he's doing Minecraft. They go, oh, cool. I like his Minecraft shows, right? Or whatever. So you, then all you have to do is just market that. You put down, you know, taglines, whatever, and it depends where you market it. Like, I'm on X and Mines, so that's where I market that stuff. So I just put out stuff ahead of time saying, yeah, I'm doing this, whatever, put in a few keywords. So if people are just on those platforms, just, just poking around, I'll get some new people once in a while that have no idea, and they probably don't like what I do, but, you know, one in every 15 or so actually might follow me. So that's how you keep growing is keep putting stuff out there so strangers can find you for whatever you're doing. But your core crew is always going to be there for the most part. I mean, they will come and go too. I mean, if suddenly they're moving to Utah or something for a month, you're not going to see them because they're busy. But you know what I mean, right? And then you just try to keep it real base, real simple, straightforward, and it and it works. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm losing a few to this, and there's some pigs up there. Great. They're going to be dropping down. As soon as you break blocks, these guys just love to come down. They're like, oh, broken blocks. I can drop in now. How many do we got? Yeah, we got this guy. Oh, we got this guy too. See? See what I mean? As soon as I get in here. Yeah. He's going to chase them off. <laughs> well, you're stuck down here now. It's your fault. Why'd you hop down? I wish I could click on you to find out what kind of trades you're going to give me. Hmm, because then I can decide how uh, useful you are. Yeah. Oh, go back up there. That would have been perfect. They like going up usually, so... I don't want this guy coming down. I want to be able to see him. There's a step for you. There's a step there. Either one of you guys can get... Yeah, you might want to get out of here. Stinky's over there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll give you a boost. Yeah. Ah, crap! Stinky came in! Uh, oh, no, no, no! Yeah, go up, go up, go up! There we go, block, block. You're safe now, Jim. Everything's good, bro. I got rid of him. I got rid of him for you. You give me some good trades later if I ever see you, man. Yeah, yeah, I saved your butt. I saved your butt from the plague. Come on, man. Remember this face. Yeah, memorize it, memorize it. Let's go, let's go. Alright, I gotta get back to work, bro. Yeah, it does take a long time to develop, um, let's just say, to get your your character down, more or less. It's like there's there's the real you, and then there's the you that's around friends and family, and then there's the you that's kind of like the public version of you, and that public version of you is uh, the one you want to develop if you're a streamer or any kind of content creator. People won't stick around if, you know... If everything, your whole show is just about like, your personal problems, unless people are into that, but then you attract the drama crowd. And then basically you're, you're Charlie. And then you're just like talking about, you know, penguins. You're just talking about like some drama shit on YouTube or whatever. And you're just like, hi, my name's Charlie. And, you know, so-and-so is such an idiot. Here's why. You know, and you become known as that, that guy. You know, you don't, I don't, I honestly don't think you want to be known as that guy. I don't watch that stuff. I find that stuff so fucking annoying. It's like... Why the fuck would I watch this? Who are these fuckers? Why the hell would I care about them? Unless it involves, like, all YouTubers. Like, YouTube is doing a dumb thing. I'll watch that because I'm on YouTube. Or Twitch has made a horrible mistake. I'm like, click! See, that's how they get me. I know how streamers and content creators can get me, so I use that as well. I think, like, what would get me? You know, and I don't... Uh, it's kind of a fun thing, actually. It's kind of fun to play with that kind of stuff. I do it ironically, I don't take it too seriously, I don't worry about it. But at the same time, it's like, well, if you know something, that's knowledge, that means you can utilize it. So, yeah, fucking utilize it, bro. Absolutely utilize it. And we got a zombie. Yeah, it's so dark over there. Nice suit. I think it's time for you to, to drop your pants, though. Ow, he dropped his carrot. <laughs> I got your carrot. Ah. Uh. Delicious. Yeah, so that's about it. I mean, that's how I do it. Straightforward stuff. I don't worry about it too much. 
I do a lot of jokes about things ironically. Do a lot of caricatures of myself, make fun of myself a bit. I could put this carrot away, we could use that. 63. Get this out of here first. Yeah, how many do we got in there? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of it back. I might end up with too much of it though, that's kind of funny. Good, I can finally get some more glass going here. Put this up here first. What time is it? 6.32. Okay. Means I need the lava to come out. We gotta start our next cook-a-thon here. This one still has one in it, so make sure. One, two, three, four, let's go. Get this going. I would like to get this first row completely done, and this will probably do it. Won't be the fastest, but it'll get there. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. Well, I'm gonna hold all my buckets there then. Fine, sure, whatever, because I can do that. Faison's just gonna ride that thing back and forth a few times, I know it. I just hope he doesn't glitch out or something crazy happens. Accidentally set up a death trap for him, you know. <laughs> Oops, my bad. How am I supposed to know your game's gonna lag out? Happens all the time. That's why I don't like mess around on that shit either. When I set that stuff up, I could also set up extra extra glass or maybe even extra rock. I could have a platform that extends a little past there so that if there's a big lag in the game or something, you just end up outside there and you just bust your way back in, but you're not losing anything because you're not dying in lava. I could do that. That's another safety lizard type feature. That's like something I would do. That's smart. Thank you, Brain. That is a really smart idea. I like that. I like that a lot. It's dark. Yeah, I can sleep. Okay. I'll do that now since I'm doing sand. Oh no, you were trying to avoid... Ah, fun. I know what you were doing. Logging in and out, not quite fast enough on the draw. Dang, dude. It's funny how I know the strat. I know the strat just by seeing what happens in chat. So what do I got? 43? There's 64. See, I can do this again right now. Oh, I accidentally did that. Well, we'll just swap that out then. I'll just do this. <laughs> there we go. All right. I can leave this for now. As long as I remember to... Um, yeah, I'll be fine. More glass. Let's put some more glass. Another thing that is possible, Ernie, is that uh, if you know of a couple other communities that don't mind you hanging out, uh, one thing you can do is like you get into the, if they have a Minecraft chat, get in there and just get into a voice chat and then just stream your screen and just mess around with stuff. People will just show up in the Discord and be like, oh, hey, yeah, you know, I've seen you in the chat a couple times, whatever, yeah, what you doing? It's like, oh, I'm just doing some Minecraft, you know, just chilling out. And you don't say anything about any of your content. You let them ask, and when they say, oh yeah, do you stream at all? You can say, oh yeah, I stream once in a while. And they'll say, shoot me a link or whatever, and you just like DM it to them. So it doesn't show up and mods don't go, oh, this person's exploiting our, our you know, you know how some mods can be, right? And they're like, oh, you're exploiting the system. People are communicating like friends and shit. What the fuck? I don't want that in my Discord. What the hell? They should all be strangers and worship the one streamer here as a god and that's it yeah I mean that's just totally cringe but honestly that's what a lot of mods are like unlike mine my mods are not like that <laughs> we make fun of that shit all the time it's like we always go self-promoting you're self-promoting you know and just make fun of it but um, you can do that though you can like you can be in somebody else's discord there's like 50 or 5,000 people there and just just start streaming your stuff there in one of their dead channels or whatever, or just just mention it's like you know I'm I'm streaming here or whatever to a couple of people and chat and and then maybe a mod will hear about it and even go oh why don't you just stream in the general chat yeah we'd like to see what you do and then if somebody asks now you have an excuse as long as they ask hey do you stream or do you have a YouTube channel 
now you have permission to say it. And if anybody, you know, like fucks with you at that point, you can say, well, this community is complete ass and leave. And now you know they're a bad community for you. You flush them out by just being yourself and being sincere. And that's how you get rid of bad people. You know ahead of time. And now you just get the, just get the hell out because if they have bad mods, it's useless. The, the streamer and content creator could be a wonderful person, but if their mods suck, you have to deal with their drama and their personal issues, then get the fuck out of there. But if you have moderators, they're just like, I don't care, do whatever you want. That's a thumbs up from me. And if you have moderators, it's like, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, as long as you're in the right channel, you know, I don't care. Then you, thumbs up from me. And you can just stream there, and then someone will ask, them, when are you streaming, they'll follow you. Next, next time you go streaming a week later, there's two new people in chat. You're like, hey, where'd you find me? They go, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so's Discord. And you're like, all right. And you can get new followers that way. And people from that community will tell other people in that community, oh, I was watching Ernie stream on his uh, Twitch the other day. And they'll say, oh, who's that? And they'll talk about you. And now they're promoting for you. you see, how, see how brilliant that is? Natural, organic development and communication with honest, sincere people. That's the way you want to go. That's just my personal opinion and my personal advice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Off by two or three. Yeah, no. Nice. And it works really well. It takes a while. I mean, it's kind of funny. When I went viral, I got, I think, about ten more subscribers out of that. I got thousands and thousands of views, and I ended up with, like, <laughs> ten more people. So, I mean, pfft. you know, going viral is not always the best answer either. Like, you know, you can do really, really good at Minecraft. You can, as they say, dream level shit or whatever, but it's not necessarily a good thing. Oh, yeah, you do remember me. Yes, I'm going to put glass there later. Just relax. Don't worry. We can't get up there. Hey, you might want to go up this way. You can go up there. You want to go up there? Yeah, I know. I haven't done that side yet. Hey, you want to stay in here? I mean, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's closed now. I told you, I gave you plenty of time. I can do the. You want to go on the other side? I'm doing that side now. Geez, will you slow down? Oh my god. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can get up here now in a minute. Just, just give me a minute. Hey, there's your view. At least you don't have to worry about getting shot by gas. I don't know what they have for me. It's like crazy. Do you want to get up there now? Look, there's a path mm -hmm. behind you, right here. Look, there you go, and you can get up this way too. They even make it easy for you. I'll do it like that pattern. Hey, there you go. Told you, nothing to it. There you go, nice. Hey. Now you can't fall down here at all. Completely safe. Don't point that thing. Will you stop pointing that at me? I wasn't thinking about my axe for like once. Actually, I was. Don't tell him I was thinking about my axe, okay? I totally wasn't thinking about my axe. That's all he needs to know. All right, guys. Just keep it quiet. Don't say a word. I was going to pull up my axe and go, yeah, totally safe. You don't have to worry about me knocking you in the lava or anything. I didn't get a chance to do the joke. The guy jumped down my throat with his fucking sword. Holy shit. Pointed it right up my nose. Okay, let's get some of this done. Let's do this. That should be good. That might be enough. Some more from there. Alright, let's get some more glass. See, this is, uh... Go to the end here. I want to do another boat run from here. This should work. But for safety reason, the boat will stop right here, right? But I mean, it's like, I, I, I could drill this out and put out about another four or five blocks of... Well, probably only three out there and then three more out there. So if you're speedboating along either of these directions and the game glitches, and if you're stuck in these blocks in your boat, it'll pop either on this side or that side. So maybe I will do that later for safety's sake. Yeah, I hear you. You're bore, I know. Is 
Don't they know any other words? <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna do the boat. I didn't do the boat. Where's my boat? There's a boar up here too. Okay. So from here, we are going to speedboat this. Wish me luck. This is the safer route, but let's see. I can get my axe ready. Full speed, full speed. I'm not letting off the W. Yeah, see, I can boat right through now. That's not bad. I'd say we got this mastered. Decent. Six forty-three. God, I thought I'd be done this section at least by now. Uh, I got to go in like uh, five minutes and check to see if Phazon's early. I'll have enough time. It'll be fine. I just want to show him at least the first run straight through. Brr, one into the other. Brr, and back. Check out what I built. Look at this. I made a thing. Yeah. Pro Minecrafter, or something like that. How many we got in here? Let's get all this out first. We got room for stuff. All right, 26, I got 15 more to go. Okay, I see. Oh, I see. Get this all topped up. What do we got in there, 57? That's not enough, so we gotta take a minute. Which means I should probably See if there's any news in the Discord. There's no news in the Discord, which is fine. Minimize that again so I can see my chat. All right, there's another stack. Nice. Good enough. Actually, you know what? I'm going to... Oops, I misclicked. There we go. So I'm going to leave. Hand there. Got bored. Yeah. Just messing around. Alright, I got another stack ready to go. Let's go. Oh, um, just in case I end up with not enough. Nah. I get bored all the time. I often think, why the fuck does anyone even want to watch me? I mean, I'm not surprised that half the audience I used to have doesn't come around anymore. But it's always a cycle, right? I'm always getting new people as old people are going, new people are coming in. So I'm comfortable with just like a small local audience or whatever. And occasionally having like, you know, some, some big audience event or whatever. Depends what I'm doing. If I'm doing a big party or whatever, you know, I'll have a beer on stream and get kind of stupid and just mess around on my public server when we're setting up new stuff or doing a mini game or whatever. You know, that's, that's just like a live recording of a comedy video or something. That's a little different. You get a, um, never mind, gotta go. Okay, dude. But you get like a different audience when you're doing that too. And you get lots of people in, but they're, they come and I go constantly. They're in and out, in and out, and they're gone. And they don't show up for other stuff. They're the partiers. They're the party scene, right? That's always a different thing. And that's the thing. You get people that are, will follow you and, and show up for different reasons and whatever. It's normal. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ba 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 ba. When I do this, I'm getting close to the end where there's that hog. I gotta be careful for that and be ready. Have my shield. Yeah, I'm gonna get my shield ready just in case shit goes sideways real fast down here. I don't feel like getting hogged, you know. There. Might squeeze in here though. That's the other thing is. Those oars are big, but they're slippery. They'll squeeze in sometimes. There we go, that side's done. There, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, if you're bored, Ernie, hang out and chat. If you're still listening to the show, just hang out and chat and bring a couple people in that you know or whatever. I mean, I'm I'm putting my money where my mouth is as far as my strategy goes for bringing in new people. So, hey, you could bring in some new people. It'll give you somebody to talk with that you know, hopefully. But at the same time, I'll have some new people watching me and doing some interactive stuff. It all helps. 
There we go, that's good. That gas can't do shit. Wow, he's way the fuck over there. Right by the portal, is he? He's in front of it? Oh, he's in the midsection. Right in front of that thing. Nice being able to look right at him and not having to worry. Alright, 50 more. Good stuff. We're gonna boat back again. We test this as we go, because, you know, gotta test it. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, that's freaky. Oh, yeah, not bad. Oh, I think we're doing good. So I think at the other end we should be safe. Unless I glitch out or something. I don't know. There's an anarchy server I'm on. I don't know if I'd want to do this there. I would be very concerned because occasionally that server glitches out and lags out and stuff. It's like, uh... Seems a little too dangerous. I would probably put an extra 16 blocks down. That's a place where you're flying around with your elytra. Um, you hit a rocket and sometimes you just keep going up. And you go above build height and you're like... Dude, I was at sea level. When am I going to start coming down? This is a normal rocket. What the fuck? And all of a sudden you glitch out and suddenly you're at half height and you're starting to go down. You're like, oh crap. I hate that. That's like, duh. No, I don't want to be fighting no dragon or any of that shit with that kind of a server. So I go in. I always test it a little bit. If I get the slightest bit of lag, I change all my plans to say, no, I'm just going to work on my farm for the next hour. I don't trust the server right now. I'll just say, no, I'm not doing the scary stuff right now. This server's acting up, so forget it. It's acting like mine hut. Mm-mm. I don't want to do it. Hell no. Too scary. Oh, hey, I can finally get all these in here. I don't have to worry anymore. All right. There we go. Awesome. Now I can just let it run. And we're good to go. So I had 63. I just want to get a couple more. Like that. I must pull this all out. I've got a routine now for doing this. Another 64, here we go. Nice. Good enough. Oh, I should check on things. I gotta remember to do this every few minutes, make sure. Okay, he's not there, okay. Because it is 649. So he's gonna pop in in about three minutes average. Like just about six minutes before the top of the hour, he usually pops in or he says something. so fast doing it this way. If I aim straight ahead, there's no mobs anymore to worry about. Yeah, this view. <laughs> Running through the nether. Do, 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 do. Running through the nether. No one's going to get that reference. Oh, I got to put more of this down too. I'd say we got to go up to at least here. What about there? Alright, food time. Gotta heal this thing up after too. We have the boars here. Shields up. Shields up, Captain. This is the neutral zone. Except them pigs ain't so neutral. There we go. Crap, I lost one. I lost one! I'll be down by one on the other side now. Alright. Means I can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that way. If I screw up again, I still have one extra. There we go. 
and I must break this because it's in the way now. All right, let's get some more. How many did I get? No, I'm getting a lot of stuff here. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I have travel plans now. This is so much faster than running. If you let off the gas like here, see it just keeps going for quite a distance, right? So going the other way, I'm not as interested in doing that. Not yet. Not until this whole path is done, it's completely safe. Because if I glitch out and I just keep sailing out into the lava ocean, that's going to really upset me, man. I mean, I do have my baby. I should have my uh, my plushie in hand, too, at all times. When I do that, I could just boat with that thing. I just hate wasting it, you know, over some stupid little thing like that. all gonna be full. I'm not gonna be able to keep it all anyway. And once this is done you can also fancy it up. Like I mean I could replace all that stuff with like the different bricks or whatever. Other things I might want to make. Okay this is uh this shouldn't be here but this can be here. I can go there for now. Is this my nether chest? Yeah. Nether stuff. This can go upstairs. Yes, do I have some in here? Where is it? There's a lot better. That should be a stack. There it is. Done. Did I mean? People are like, I have this ultra furnace system that took me two or three hours to construct and look how awesome it is and you push this one button and everything happens but you still have to get sand. I'm like, okay, cool. I have four furnaces and some lava. It's not as fancy as yours but I can barely keep up with it. Just saying. So when I set up an eight system where it's like eight lava buckets, eight furni, holy crap. I can't keep up. I can't remember. It's like too many to click on and they're just they're spamming me with content. I, I can't keep up with the things. I need some big elaborate redstone stuff. I mean, it's just rock and some lava. <laughs> it works so well. I don't know. Maybe it's my Scottish blood or something. Maybe it's just like, it's good enough. Keep it simple. Now I hear him. I can just be like, what? What's the big deal? Why are you crying? You're so sad. Poor baby. What's going on over there? This guy's just running. I don't see anything. Oh, they're over there, I see. Hey, that's not a bad little trading spot. We just bridge that later. But I have to cap it from the gas. That's the only thing, but not bad. See, now I can start to look around and consider all sorts of other options because I can travel around here really quickly and look at different things and figure out what the best plan is, which way I want to go, do stuff and turn it into like a community of stuff down here. Let's, uh, let's do some of this. Oh yeah, the hog is above me. I gotta watch out for that. That's true. How far am I? Okay, I'm there. Oh, okay. I'll get this mostly done. Phase on arrives. I guess he'll be arriving any second, so it's not bad. Which means I gotta keep checking. Uh, I should probably get my recording studio open just in case he says something there. There we go. Oh god, Boris. Oh my god, okay. Alright, I'll be ready for ya. Fine. That is off by one because I did that. I'm gonna do this first. Do you wanna come down here and get me? No, too late. Okay. Alright. Maybe be safe. I am gonna do this. Because, you know, fuck this guy. Oh, I'm on this side. Oh, I'm not there anymore. Sorry. Oh, I'm on this side. Oh, there he is. See, now you get to see the little leggies. <laughs> oh, 
What do you mean you smell lizard? You're a conspiracy theorist. What are you talking about? You're hallucinating. There's no such thing as me. You goof. I know where he is. Fuck this guy. Coming at me? You coming at me? Not anymore, you're not. Do this one too. There, now it's even. It's a matter of piglet. Aw, oh, you can't smell me anymore? Yeah, that sucks. Poor you. I'm just doing this randomly now. Alright, let's do four more. Ugh, oh, I lost my chat again because I hit that. That Discord thing. That's a boat. I don't want a boat up there. 26 more. Okay, I'm doing it the slow way, but... Oh, he's coming back. He thinks he's on to something. Oh, there's a little kid up there, so let's do it this way so he doesn't... He's less likely to hop down if I do this. Get my stone went in. And he's turning back. Nice. 18 more. Okay. Six more. Enough. There we go. I'll save two. We can boat back. Alright, here we go. Battle's on over there. I had to let off gas to see. But I realized I couldn't slow down fast enough anyway, so. This is pretty decent. Apparently it's dark, and apparently I gotta sleep. Good time for a quick break for me too. Actually, speaking of actually, actually, you know, actually, not a bad idea. Take some more of this out. And that'll get us more glass while I'm waiting. Everybody's waiting. So I'm going to stand here and do a phase on thing once again. Actually, I'll leave this one furnace open. You guys can keep an eye on that for me. And I'll just turn the music back up. Phase on might spawn in behind me. Hopefully, he's not going to punch me in the head. <laughs> but we'll be back, and hopefully, phase on will be here. I'll see you guys in a moment.
I didn't know you wanted to hear me peeing. Florica wanted to hear me go pee? What? Why would you want me to leave my mic on while I'm in the bathroom? What the hell, girl? What is that all about? What? Oh man, that's some... I didn't know you uh, were into that kind of stuff, but you know. I, I can't do that live, but you know. <laughs> okay, Faison is upstairs. I, I saw him log in just as I was sitting down. Just by my teeth, but that's something. What? 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 <laughs> okay, this is a story. This is a story. I gotta get in the voice chat. Hold on. He's in voice chat. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, I'm in the voice chat now. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be a story. Hello. Hey there, bro. What's up, man? So what's this about brushing your teeth with a soap bar? Well, how'd that happen? Well, um, apparently, what I heard, that's more effective way to remove plaque. It actually properly cleans, and it doesn't leave you with perpetual mint, which I'm kind of tired of. Ah, <sighs> wow. Um, that must have tasted dreadful. It was actually, uh, it was all natural, like, like... I don't know. It's some kind of special uh, tooth soap. soap. <laughs> no, it's like a <clears throat> it's like a really fancy natural bar soap from like a small company. And I was like, "Fuck it, I'll brush my teeth with it." Ugh. I don't know what that's going to do to your gums, though. But I mean, hey, I would it's I would so ask around. Just stated. Well, yeah, of course. Just in case. I mean, long term use versus <laughs> like you know. I don't know. Because I know what soap does to skin, right? Which is why they always talk about moisturizer. I mean, is there moisturizer you can put on your teeth after to stop things from, like, drying out or whatever? You never it's know, my right? mouth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope. You could be the guinea pig of, like, uh, tooth soap brushing. <clears throat> I don't know. And then you, you, all the mistakes you make, you tell everybody else what not to do and what works. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I usually do. <laughs> Experiment on yourself? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. I think uh, I can show you some stuff, but uh, it's pouring rain. Great. That's that's beautiful weather for an intro, isn't it? Are you all ready to go? <laughs> it seems like my whole day today, so yeah. Works out. Are you recording? Rain, rain it up. Oh, uh, no. All right. Let me know when you're ready to go. Make sure everything's tested and stuff and such. Check your levels and all that fun stuff. Yep, I already got all that done. Awesome. I need to stretch. Oh my god. All right. So yeah, I was I was off taking a pee break and I come back to a text message that says your mic isn't on. <laughs> I'm like, what? Why? Oh. I said I was stepping away to take a bathroom break. Your mic's not on. <laughs> I just had to turn that into a thing. <laughs> Dude, you took a bathroom break without your mic on? Yeah, I know. I mean, I know. I guess I'm a, I, I'm a rare quality quality control kind of streamer here. What kind of reservations is that? Mm, you know, well, you're supposed to expose everything to every one of your fans. Well, I suppose. Oh, I mean, the, the, technically the last <laughs> time I had any reservations was back when I had money and I could afford a hotel. So, yeah, you got a point. Eh. My brain's too far from laughing now. <laughs> Just confused. <laughs> Just confused. All right, what's up? Um, Let me see what I'm doing here. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do a little thing over here, I guess, or something like that. I got to get my F5 all set up. I got an ad break in my chat. They're going to get this halfway through, but uh, whatever. Besides, I'm recording for fun. I never know if I'm going to do a video with it or not or whatever. But So, chat, what's happening now is it's called a YouTube intro. I think you've seen them before, so we're doing one of those things. And, yeah, bear with me. All right, so here we are in the world once again. I'm with my friend Faison, of course, and we're on the Amatsu SMP. And this is Day, uh, day Thunder. Um, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Hell with that. Give me like no notice to do it. Ah. <laughs> that's ah. what. It's oh my god, I did it in third person. I actually. <laughs> that's what I just did too. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> oh, the, 
I, I almost didn't make it. Okay, I'm good. You're walking backwards. That's funny. Yeah. Anyway, that's good enough. I'd say we're ready to go. All right. So, he, notice he's always testing my reaction speed. He doesn't say when he's going to bed. He's just gonna be like, "Going to bed," and I got like five seconds to run in the house, go up the stairs, and hopefully make it to my bed with no notice. Yeah. So this anyway, guy. what I was thinking of doing today is bedtime. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh it's not nighttime. Sorry. No, a false alarm. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? It's training me to react faster. I'm not complaining, but hey, this guy though. This what, guy, though. what do I got? What do I got? Okay, think fast. No, no, don't do that. Oh, no. that that was way too slow. That, that was like three whole seconds. Come on, man. You'll never be a speed run at this rate. Woo! Gone. <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> what you do you down? mean, where did I go? You just look look on your map. See. You'll see my tag, right? Nope. How could you not see my tag? I'm right here. I'm like, almost right next to you. I don't know what you're saying. I don't see nothing. I see your tag. You're like, you're like right there. Something hey, broken. Look, look at my stream. Look at this come guy. Come up his, to me. His tag is right there. What do you mean, come up to you? Where are you? <laughs> oh. This guy will make. This guy's lousy at hide and seek too. Come on, I was standing in my bushes right here. Well, now you're on my radar. For some reason, you you disappeared off of that. Yeah, because I know what I'm doing, bro. That's why. <laughs> well, fair enough, but I'm what did trolling. You do? I'm trolling. Oh, I just I just press a key in normal vanilla Minecraft, you know, and. Just make you run in circles as you follow me around for no reason. Yeah. Oh, I have more slimes. Come and see my, my new pet slimes. I have six of them now. <sighs> I got six babies down here, and they all have different names. Where are you going? Hello, I'm over here where the slime pit is. Okay, stay up here. I'll read you their names. Otherwise, they'll escape. So this one is slime. Original, I know. This is jello. This is sticky. This is squish. That's jelly. And this is cubic. Cubic's always at the window for some reason. He likes the view. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. So this is capitalism? <laughs> um, this is, um, this is just having pets. <laughs> this is just, this is just, all right, look, when you're not here, I'm a little lonely. All right, so let's just leave it at that. Okay, so anyway, I'll today. I'll get you done. Yeah. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you what I have done in the nether, so you might want to get your gold booties ready and pop those suckers oh, yeah. on. I, before we venture, I need to, like, drop some stuff real quick. All right, bathroom's uh, down the hall and to the left. Let me know when you're done. You know, I didn't do an epic bathroom visit before I started streaming today. Right. <laughs> God, okay. that one time, what a story. <laughs> I'll just say this, chat. He said it was the size of my arm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, we didn't have a poop knife. A <laughs> poop knife? Oh. I have more sand in here? here. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know I had this much sand in here. Could it all fit in there? Well, that part does. All right, let's uh, do this and just fill this up. And I get that all up in there. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that all up in there. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. But it sounds like I'm saying. Alright, so, did I reload the fern eye? No, I have a bit of glass in here I can take out while you're doing your thing. Put that up there. Question. Yo. Should I take cobble deep slate with me? Um... <laughs> I don't think you'll need any. Well, always always have blocks, uh, you know, number one rule. Always have blocks you can just jump up, stack, block something off, yeah. and like shoot me or whatever. I always take a half stack of just stone blocks of some kind, no matter where I am, 24-7. So yeah, take a full stack if you want. I always leave, I, I take a full stack and I drop five or six. I try to aim between 50 and 60, just roughly, because if I'm breaking a few, I can see them piling up in my inventory, and I know I have too much of something or not enough. If I'm down to 12, I know that I don't even have to like hit E and look and go, oh, do I have any more? Because I, I memorize what I have and my patterns and such. Okay. Let's in here right now. Okay. Food. Let's do some food. Done. Food's done. Ba, 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 ba. I need to put the lava back in the system. That's what I haven't done yet. 
do that right now, um, so that's ready to go. <clears throat> Mind if I work on my axe real quick? I need mending on it. Uh, your axe has no mending at all? No, oh, because I, I used it on the uh, armor and the sword instead. Oh, you want to do a mending thing? Um, yeah, wait, what do you wear? Do you have, uh, you just have the iron helmet. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on the helmet later, I suppose. Um, do you have any enchantments <laughs> on your diamond boots? Um, I have diamond boots? I don't think I have those. You don't have them yet? Okay. Nah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's diamonds in this chest. And. Yeah, you could. It's four diamonds for boots. You can make some up and then uh, we can enchant those. But first, I am going to show you some stuff. I want to show you stuff first. <laughs> Alright. You know, like in any video, you say, hey, we're back here, we're continuing where we left off, I want to show you where we left off, yeah. kind of thing. Con consistency. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Alright, and then you can come back and do this, and it can be part of, like, the mid-plot. He's coming. He's coming this way. Yeah, down this way. Okay, you know, you know the area, you know what it's like down here and what to expect. So we're heading to our portal, which is very nicely hidden. I didn't put those emergency blocks down. I'll do that on the way. Just to demonstrate for people again why we're doing it this way. You come down here and you walk out here and you see this stuff. I'll wait till Phazon comes out of the door and then I will put these here. So the idea is when you're standing at the portal over there and you look up this way, you can't even see this and there's no lights except for that which is backlighting so you won't really even see it. That way people in a survival world that's like uh, an anarchy world, anarchy server, whatever, they're not going to find your the way you went as <laughs> easily. So when you're down here, I'll show you the view back up again, and you come out of the portal. If somebody followed you and you've disappeared or you're hiding in a wall and you crouch, you disappear and that's how you get rid of your name tag. Like I did to Phazon a minute ago and you got all confused, they can't find you, you don't show up on any maps, and they, they're going to look around at all these lights and go, well that looks like it goes that way. That looks like it goes that way, but it's dark there, and they probably didn't go up into the walls and hide up there. And if they do go up there, you know, you put enough stone down that it's like three or four blocks deep. They're going to have to dig around, and good luck finding it. That's the idea, right? Anyway, come through this way. So this end is secure. Now I'll show you what I've built. And this is where we left off before, where we had some of this done. But now we have a nice little room with a couple of doors. Just give everyone a nice view. You just hit this floor button right here and you can pop right out. And this area is now nice and safe. There's a button on the outside to get back in if you need to. And there's a door on this side as well. So if you ever want access to anything else, it's all right there. But it's a nice view. You have a half portal sitting right here. It's like a ar architectural, artistic kind of piece. And then you have Ice Boat Highway. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, nice. It's almost done. So you might ask, why the hell are all these buttons down here? Like, what do they do? Do they actually yep. do anything? No. What they do is they, they're they not a full block, which means mobs can't mobs can't spawn on them, which is the main thing. And they can't spawn on glass. Well, they can walk around up there, and that's fine. Same with the ice. Now, this is packed ice. So you can take regular ice, and you can get nine blocks and make one of these blocks, or you find an ice biome, and you can pick up, uh, you know, you can just take a, an iceberg and just start to break it down with a silk touch pick mm and collect this stuff and just spam it down and it doesn't melt. Again, you want to put buttons on it because that way when you're on your boat, you don't end up bumping into something that stops your speed, right? So for now, you notice that if you run this way and run along here, you get a certain speed just like you do in the overworld. But in the nether, you're going eight times as fast because one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. So that's one advantage. The second advantage is now you run on this, do the same thing and run this way full speed and you notice you start going a lot faster on this even running check it out don't put your boat down bro it's not no. finished you're gonna go into lava possibly uh, I didn't tell you to do that right. bro I know but I wanted to do that yeah well we're gonna do that the other way don't go this way it's not finished yet so did, right. did you try the running thing do you see how much faster you run yeah 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 it's awesome and look at the beautiful it view I put all this glass down so you can like stop and look around and study the nether no Good mobs job. can get in Love here. It. Completely secure, at least up until the end here, because I'm not quite done yet. At least this section for boating. So, since I don't want you, and I'll show you why I don't want you going full speed. Come all the way to the end of this. 
be my luck to just boat directly into lava. Well, that's what happens right here. If you flew out yeah. here, you'd go right into that lava right there. And you'd lose everything. And you'd be back at spawn, naked and afraid. <laughs> Yep. So, I wouldn't recommend it until this is all closed in, and obviously that needs a lot of work still, which we'll work on today. But you can boat this way, and I'll show you something. And I would say, uh, just to be safe, I would boat from here, because that's open. Just in case something, you know, if the server glitches or something, you never know, you might suddenly slide out sideways, and then, you know. Here, uh, if you glitch, it's less likely that something's going to go wrong, but every time you do this, there is a risk. Because remember, when you're boat, uh, ice boating, you are taking advantage of a glitch. Okay, so I'm going to go yep. first, and you can follow me. So I yeah, stand over there. I'm going to stand here. You just click the boat down on the ground, and then hop in and hold down W and go as fast as you can. Full speed. You don't even have to let off, although you'll probably land on top of me at this point. I'm going to try and get out oh of this Oh, my quick. God. Woo! The optical illusion yeah. of all this stuff. You, you don't hell? have to hop out. You can hold W, and, and this is where you stop, right here. But did, did I just go under my own boat? Wait. I have oh. no idea. you got to be careful oh, with no. these things. Yeah. Look, I just went under my own boat. Watch this. Ah, oh, damn. I need to go like a little bit quicker. Yep. yep. Oh, ah, you, ah. you can kind of get under it a bit? Yeah. 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 yeah it actually pushed me down. That's funny. The idea being that uh, I set it up to be, I usually set them up to be anywhere between 9 and 10 blocks, sometimes 11. And remember that one live stream where I ended up in the wall by one block? And if I accidentally broke the block below me, I would have gone straight into a lava lake like this outside here from way up there. I decided to make this one 16 blocks minimum. So I've been testing it out and from that end all the way to here, you can pretty much hit maximum speed. So if you're still holding W at the end of that ice block, you will fly and land right about here and stop. Of course you can still boat, but it's really, really slow. But you, you can't go into this portal at full speed. You end up stopping right here. So It'd it's all perfectly planned out. And I'm going to do that for the other side as well. But anyway, I'll show you what mm -hmm. I'm constructing now to like finish this project off. At the very least, I'm just going to hop down to the end. I, I like it full speed too, Zoto. That's why I'm doing it this way. Exactly. Oh, and the reason oh, I have man. the stone at the bottom is because it's, I don't know, I'm less, because you can glitch out through glass, but you don't, you're less likely to glitch out through stone, right? So I have the stone trough to make this a little safer, because again, safety lizard rule, right? It works really well this way. Yeah, try stopping. It's not easy to stop, is it? <laughs> I, I, I like how you can touch the walls and it doesn't stop you. It just like, it keeps sliding sideways so you can keep turning yeah. your angle. Now, the reason why I never slide sideways or face the walls, if this server glitches out and you drift and, and the AI yep. says, it's going to drift you through this stone wall, you're going to pop out on the other side of this wall, straight into that lava and lose everything. Yep. So I tend not to play around with it. So when you're turning around like this and doing all this kind of fun stuff, it just increases the risk factor. So sure. that's up to you. Uh, but if something like that happens, you don't come crying to me. I'm just going to make you like do everything yourself to get all the way back to where you were. All right, just say it. That's fine. So what I'm doing here is I'm breaking these two blocks all the way down to put in this glass. So of course, you know how to cook up the glass, right? So I'm just doing a lot of glass. Yep. And wherever it's open at the bottom down here, I'm filling it in, of course, ahead of time with these blocks and then doing the glass on top. You don't want to leave this open because it's a bit of a problem. So I'm going to put down this last little bit of stone all the way down to, well, I can't go past here because that stone has to be there. And we'll just do this up to here and we'll start putting some glass down and then you can go do something else. But I want to, at the very least, I don't have any glass on me. We got to go back anyway. All right, ice boat highway. And look at this view. See, now you can turn your head and look around Without turning your steering, you can actually see everything go by you really quickly. And again, full speed, and I can't go past that point, so there you go. Nice. Yeah. Good design. Yeah. Love it. So now, that was almost like half the distance right there, coming back here. Now imagine when this is done in a matter of like, I don't know, let's finish it off sometime in the next hour, right? I'm over on this side, by the way. We finish this off in the next hour, and then you die in lava. 
We just have to figure out the way from spawn down to the second portal that I already set up and then you can be back here in seconds and then you can start working on, you know, your XP or any diamonds you need or whatever. So it's like you can regain your stuff in, in moments rather than, you know, hours. Spending 20, 20 minutes or half an hour trying to get back here or something, right? Yep. So there you go. I just had to show you that. That's what we left off last time, and that's what we got going on. So if we get this finished today, that'll be great. And at the other side, you know what awaits us? Adventure, because it's unexplored territory. Nice. By the way, I beat you to the bed already. That's fine. <laughs> He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. There's no way. I know. There's no way. Oh, I did it. <laughs> no did way. It. You did it. Oh, dude. Holy you shit. You should see it. There was not a there was not a quarter second to spare, dude. Oh. Wow, nice. Hey, hey, he's getting better at this. Awesome. All right, all right. I'm happy. I'm very proud of you. So, um, yeah, the next thing right now is I'm gonna take. I have three stacks of glass here. I can take down. I probably only need two, so I'm gonna just gonna fill that in for now. Now I'm gonna work on the glass to finish this off, and I got a little bit of stone. I probably end up with a little bit more, but I always like to make sure I have enough just in case something goes sideways. Now, you said you were going to work on um, getting some uh, amending book for your... There should be... Yep. I think there's enough emeralds at the village right now, um, but there might not be... I think there's only two books there. You might want to bring... Let me see how much leather we got. We got three. Okay, here, take, uh, take some leather and this paper before you go. Here, come inside the house and pick this up. Right, right, right where you were. It's, it's floating on the pressure plate. Just pick that up. Make your, Put a couple of books there. You can make them here or at the village, it doesn't matter. Um, All right. Your XP, if it's not good enough, you know what to do. But you should have enough XP for just like getting at least a mending book, right? Oh, and I was going to, that's right, rather than do that on, yeah, yeah. Um, how many diamonds do you have? You can make those boots right now and then you can, uh, actually, you know what? I might just help you get completely kitted out with what I got. Because I have Depth Strider 3, Mending, Feather Falling 4, and Protection 4. And that's really what you need on diamond boots. So I think I'm going to go chop down some trees with you, and we'll get you those books. Let me get some cows first of all, too, because we need some more books. See how these guys are doing. Let's get you all kitted out here. One, two, three, four, five, um, hmm, how many do I want to... Yeah, you don't have to worry about this. I'll take care of this. Head to the, um, start chopping a line of trees and get some emeralds and get some XP and sticks and all that. I'll work on bringing the all extra right. books, and then you can start combining them and hopefully... Hopefully this will work out. Woohoo! All right. Uh, what did I have here? Four and oh, that's three in there, and that's four there. Okay, I'm. I got lots now. Got too many eggs again. All right, chickens, go ahead. Crazy things. Got to feed these guys up now. All right, I will bring. We're gonna need at least. I'll take four more books, I guess rid of that. Book, 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 We got book. Four more books, and I gotta feed the boys. One, two, three, I'll feed you anyway. You can just watch those two. There you go. That counts. It counts. You are, you are a participant by observation. There you go. Did I get anything? Okay. Yay! Because I have 28 XP, too, so... I'll use my XP if needed. Okay, I'm bringing some books, and I can probably... See how many emeralds I got? Yeah, it's not a lot. I keep most of them up there when I need them. I've been using them. Alright. Well, I gotta do some tree chopping myself anyway. Alright, let's go do this. Let's get them completely kitted out. At least get them the boots that I got. Because these diamond boots, you're going to swim so fast through water. And with the feather falling, you can drop a few hundred blocks further with less damage. So if you end up falling, oh. you know, past... That's what feather falling does. Is um, Feather falling 4 is really good. I don't know. Zoto in my chat right now would probably know the exact numbers. Or you might have an ad break. I'm not sure. But... Uh, I mean, basically, you can kind of double up on your distance. Oh, hey, Ender, how's it going? What do you got? A flower. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like them. Them. Them's, uh, them's good flowers right there. Yeah. He's not talking to me. He's busy. He's trying to find a place to plant his flower. 
You know, you could... No, I'm not going to do it. Make a meme out of that, but I won't. Okay, so we have 10 books in here now and 42 emeralds. Okay, awesome. That is doable. I think the anvil is brand... Look at that sheen. That anvil is brand new. That'll last a while. All right, I'm going to start working on some trees. Get some emeralds going. I see a mob down there. Oh, it's this guy. He's, <laughs> He's just walking around. Don't look at the enderman directly unless you're ready to do battle. He's hanging around. I'll do this line of trees on the opposite side of you. And we'll get you some stuff. The very least. We'll probably max out these villagers in no time, though. But that's why they're here. So how's your week been, bro? Uh, hectic. That bad, huh? Just... Yeah, you know, taxes, bills, and fucking oh. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had to... I got $150, maybe even only $100, to last me um, three weeks. What kind of fucking food am I going to get with $150 for three weeks? How the hell am I going to eat? It's that uh, bad. Today's inflation, yeah. Yeah, I know. Like, welcome to disability income, guys. This is where disabled people get screwed over by their own government because they don't give us a place to live. Instead, they just give us barely enough to survive off of, but it's not enough because, you know, several reasons. I mean, I get $1,400 a month, right? And then my rent is 2000 so I have two roommates. In order to split that, I have about $500 by the time we're done. And that's it. But all of a sudden, I get hit with like, oh, yeah, your internet uh, bill, your insurance bill, and your... Um, your hosting company bill and your radio station bill, you know, the once a year bills that are like a hundred for this, a hundred for that. Yep. It's like all in the yep. same month. And now it's like, I just lost 350 fucking dollars. What am I supposed to do now? So if anybody wants to donate, you know, please just buy one of my albums. Because if you buy my albums, I get that in a matter of three days. If you subscribe to me on Twitch, I'm telling you right now, it's going to take a month to six months to get here. I'll be fine by then, or dead from starvation. So, if you want to see me live, <laughs> I hate to do this. If you want to see me live, buy one of my albums, exclamation point music, in the chat, and you can help save a disabled old man's life. And if you can't, call a friend right now and tell them to get their ass in the live show and contribute and be a part of my community. Because then I can really, really respect you for that. Mm-hmm. So many bills huh. and no Georges. <laughs> well said. Oh, there we go. Perfect amount. Did my first line of trees by myself. Yay. Yay. Oh, I just grew into the ground again. Look oh. at that. This stuff grows so fast. This ends up happening to me all the time. I have to be careful around here. It's dangerous, man. That's trees. They grow in seconds around here. That's why I took advantage of this right away. As soon as I found out the tick time here seems to be pretty fast, and they said, it's 20, it's normal, that's the normal setting. I'm like, there's no way this is normal, but I'm it's not going to complain. It's probably a despawn config that <clears throat> is different now, I don't know. I, I think they just, I think they're just, they could be trolling me, man, I don't know. I mean, this could just be realm behavior now, like, who knows? Yeah, that's true, that's true. But like I said, I'm not complaining too hard because I'm getting benefits, so. What do I need to heal up? I need to hold this in here first. So we're getting emeralds, right? That's it. Just buying emeralds from these guys. So Faison can buy stuff. Emeraldos. There we go. So there's an extra 16 so far. That for now. sticks there we go <clears throat> so I can't remember the prices here so we might as well just do it all get everything okay <clears throat> that might be good let's take this out of my hands first so far 64 and 11 <clears throat> 
Um, let me see, what do we need again? Depth mending feather protection, okay. Uh, rot's 20. That's 24. Uh, depth is 36, yeah. I think I'll buy the depth strider for you because that's, that's expensive. <clears throat> Hopefully we have enough. One depth strider. That's the important one, for sure. So there's a depth strider book in there, all ready to go. Uh, I will organize this. We have 39 now. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, do, what do I have in that? Yeah, feather falling. Where is... Oh, it's 31 for feather. You know what? Let's just do that now. I'm going to get your feather falling too, just to speed things up. Right. Oh, oh, that's right. It's feather falling too. I got four on there mine. There it goes. Did I... Hmm. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I combine them, but you can combine these books too, right? I'll get your feather falling too, at least. That's that's kind of mandatory. That'll help you in an emergency. So. Oh. Oh fuck. What'd you do? Oh, I didn't die. All right. Well, that's good. Well, you might want to get in here and have a have a nap or get ready to. Well, I'll have a nap. What am I saying? I can sleep. sleep. I'm lumberjacking. <clears throat> I would do another line of trees, but I have a feeling that if I do that now, I'm going to max these guys out. So I got two of the books. So all you need to do is buy two. There might be enough in there where you can actually buy uh, those two books right now. Once you're done, finish working on this. Yeah, it looks like you're done. You just got to replant everything now. Yeah. I'm gonna remove my dirt tower. That's one way to wear out your axe. It's gonna have mending on it, so I don't really care. Yeah, it's the same speed as punching it, though, and you don't wear out your axe with your fist. Indeed. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll make it interesting. Oh, I was gonna put an arrow in that one block. So that you know, when, when you break it, the arrow comes down and kind of like totally doesn't land on your head. <clears throat> Reptoid. You might be proud of me. Uh, Pick up those so saplings before they despawn. You're going to lose them. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Make sure you have um, like 35 on you. How many you got? 47. 37? 47. 47. All right. Slap those guys down, bro. Let's go. Yep. I'm roll them out. It. Roll them out. I wanted to tell you a thing, too. Yeah, well, roll them out first. I want to I make sure that we have lots of stuff, but you missed one. There you go. <clears throat> I don't want to spend the whole show just doing this. We got stuff to do, yeah. man. All right, now you can tell me something. Uh, when I was at the top trying to get the last log, I, uh, I decided to stand on dirt blocks instead of standing on leaves. As soon as I hit the last log, the leaves started to disappear under me. Yep, so, that happens. <clears throat> I was like, huh, now wait. This is going to leave me falling to the ground if I continue. It's going to leaf you for sure, yeah. All right, yeah. you know what to do. What do you know? Put all the yeah. extra saplings in there for now. That's 12, okay, we'll move them with the saplings. There we go, so they're all in the same spot, right? All right, happy logging. Plenty of wood. Now, if you want room in your inventory, what you do is you put all your logs in the chest and then you just take a stack of 64 logs, out, right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, you're buying stuff? Put You didn't put any logs in here. Put all your logs in here that you're holding. I was making sticks first, but... Okay, well, what you want to yeah. do is... It, there's a way to do it that's fastest. So put all your logs all right. in here first. Like, just pop them in. I'll watch you do it. All right. Is that all of them? Yep. Okay, so watch me. I'm going to grab 64. Well, I'll grab 63. I do that, and I'll grab one from here. So I have 64 now. So what you want to do is here. Take these 64 only. Come over to the chest. <clears throat> Right-click it. All right. And when you right-click it, you want to just do it with the uh, the book. It's the fastest way. Turn them all in the planks. Every single one into planks. All right. Hopefully you have enough inventory space. I don't know. I always leave like, I, when I'm working here, I always leave about five slots to ten slots empty. Okay, now turn them all in the sticks. If you don't have room, turn get four stacks of sticks and then continue and then do the other four stacks of sticks. All right. <clears throat> and then you go back for the second set of 64 logs. 
and repeat the same process. And that's the fastest way to do it. Now you can just go to the Fletchers and spam click. No, you don't do it now. You gotta gotta sell all your sticks. You need inventory space. Right. Now you're going the wrong way. Fletchers are on this side. Yeah, these are the Fletchers. The ones with the Fletcher tables. Yeah, there you go. Now, sell every stick you got. Don't buy arrows. You're not gonna get emeralds from emerald arrows. <coughs> there you go. Oh, you don't do it all on one guy. Spread them around. That's why there's five guys. You do like is it, two does stacks it and one guy, two stacks and another, two stacks and another. Okay. Because <coughs> if you max them out, he might not like sell you other stuff too. If you need arrows or something, because some do arrows as well. Uh. If you spread them out, it's better. They recover faster and they don't change their price. Because they'll change their price where all of a sudden you have to sell them like a hundred sticks for an emerald instead of just like thirty-two sticks for an emerald, right? <coughs> And then you're shooting yourself in the foot at that point. Like, who the hell wants to rip themselves off? These guys are bad enough. Don't don't taunt them. They will rip you off. And they'll take you twice as long to get your work done. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so I have for you... I forgot what I got. I got Depth Strider and Feather Falling, right? Depth Strider and Feather Falling. So what you need to buy when you're ready is mending and protection. That'll be about 46 bucks, roughly. <clears throat> yeah, mending guy's in the corner, prot guy is over here, so they're all in this one spot. I'll just stand by them for when you're ready. All right. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah, don't forget to stay close to him, otherwise you won't get your XP. You need that for adding your books together. I got 32 emeralds. Okay. Are you done with all of your logs? I mean, we could leave like 10 logs behind if you're if you're ready, but... Uh, yeah, there's 61 in here, so what I would suggest is... Uh, you know, take another 32. Like, I'll give them to you now. Where are you? You're here? Okay. So here's another 32 logs. I would turn those into sticks as well. Max out the right. system. We leave a few here just for emergency only. Because <clears throat> there's only seven emeralds in there, so it's good to leave some logs. Like, don't don't deplete the system. Don't leave, like, no emeralds, no logs. Always leave, like, ten emeralds and, like, a half stack of logs in case you yeah. suddenly just need them. Like, oh, I'm, all, I'm a one emerald short, whatever. It's good to have some overflow in the tank. And if you need, like, twenty more, then obviously it's another line of trees that's got to go. And they're so fast, all right. so they're all done. All right. So you have all your all your sticks are sold. You're ready to go. Yep. All right. How yep. many emeralds do you have? <clears throat> I have 40. All right. So again, what you want to do, just so you don't misclick, because I know you do. Come over here. You see a guy that says "prot four for 20." So you want to grab 20 20 emeralds and a book. All right. Just 20. Well. I can be careful, I have 40. I, I, yeah, if you I'll accidentally just... buy two, you're screwed. So, don't fuck up. Yeah. Like I said, grab 20 emeralds, not 40, 20, and one book, and you can't screw it up. That's the point. I understand. Yeah. Don't carry two I big have... open cans of gasoline when you might fall. Just carry one. That way you only lose one. You still have a whole container of gasoline for your car. And you're more I'm careful. i my risk assessment. I'm good. Okay, Thank so you. now you come over here to the mending guy, and his says 24. So, you need right. 24 emeralds and a book. <clears throat> Alright. Isn't it nice having uh, enslaved workers that just give you whatever you want? You give them their thing and... Yeah. Go ahead. Of course. <laughs> and you get all the enchantments you want without having to like, just, you know, sit there at a a random uh, enchantment table and go, oh, that's not what I want. Oh, I have to now go through like eight level, eight different diamond boots and hopefully one of them will be what I want. It's just, to me, that just seems so ridiculous. This is the best way to do it now. All right, so before you do that, get all your books, bro. See, I have them here. So here, pick this one up, pick this one up, put all your books together and then start with the anvil and pick two random books, put them in and look at the price. Yep. And look at your I'm XP, and yeah, so 
Try to keep everything around two or three if you can. And just work your way down. You got three, then you want to rotate all three of them in different positions. A versus B. And then you got to get your diamond boots ready, which I don't know if you even have them on you. Mm, I do have them. Okay, good. That's the last I'm out step. of XP. You're out of XP. So now I have to do the rest for you because I have 28. Ready? Hand them over to me. So if you needed XP, you know where the spider spawner is, right? That's where you need to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do you got? We got all four in a book. Okay, here we go, guys. This should be 17, and I have 28, so I'm down to 11. So there you go. That's a lot of XP I just I used up for that. So now, Appreciate it, man. So now you can put them on, as long as you're not in the nether, of course. You need gold in the nether anyway. And don't worry about, you know, the, the gold in the nether. I mean, we can enchant those later if you want. If you want to keep gold boots, I would suggest at the very least mending and put feather falling on it. And that's about it, right? You don't really need much else. If you find soul speed, you can add that. It just helps you run through the sand a little faster, and that's about it. But now, at least with feather falling too, and you can always add another feather falling couple of books together and then combine it. It's expensive, but you can increase that. But yeah, let's get out of here, man. Uh, I'd say we're done. You got your booties at least. So now, oh yeah, and with Depth Strider, I want you to try swimming with me now. That's the next thing we gotta do. I gotta show uh, you how faster you are with this. Now, of course, I don't know how far down we gotta go. Yeah, this is a good enough spot for swimming. Here we go. I can put my helmet on too, so I can breathe underwater even longer. Okay, take your booties off just for now and do a quick little swim. This is what it's like swimming without the booties. Okay, so there you go, swim around a bit. Okay, now come back out. Yeah, don't go far. Just come back out for the mob spawn. Okay, now put your booties on and do the exact same thing you just did. Swim the same way. Do the same thing. It's much, much faster. Better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the way to go. Now, yeah, imagine, right? It's so Sweet. nice. Depth Strider yeah. 3. Oh, yeah. So now, if you fall into a cave that's all wet... Um, oh, that's the other thing. You know how painful it is and frustrating when you're at like one water block depth and you're just trying to walk through water? You'll be able to walk mm -hmm. at this speed through the water now. Like the speed I'm going right now, it's like being on land. And it's just one block. You can just do this now. So Can you walk on the surface of the ocean? Um, oh, let me see here. I'm just going to go out here. There's no drowns right now or anything. I mean, uh... I see things on the radar. I mean like this? Look at me. Yeah, there's a guy right there. They're all spawning in. Are you watching me? You're not even yep. watching me. I'm looking right at you. What do you mean? Oh, it's a baby. Look at this guy. It's just a little baby. This guy being a dick. Oh, you got the knockback, yeah. I don't got the knockback because I just want to kill these things as fast as possible. Oh, my God. Is there another one behind me there? No. Okay. All right. Yeah, so there you go. There's your walking on water routine. <laughs> nice. But that's not very efficient. I would not recommend that unless you're just dealing with stuff like I did just to like, you know, knock some mobs around or whatever. It's better when it's one uh, block deep. Uh, what are you doing? Just fell in a pit. There's a hole? Yeah, you gotta watch out for holes. This game is full of them. All right, you deal with the hole, I'll deal with this guy. Yep. And gone. Where are you, bro? Hulk? I don't know. I'm doing patchwork. That's an enchanted spider. I gotta go see what he is now. What the hell? Oh, it's chicken. Alright, now I can sleep. Are oh, you gonna sleep out there? Yeah, you can sleep if you want. There's no mobs here. There's a guy creeping up on me slowly, but it's gonna take a minute to get here. You know, you have a travel bed, right? Yep. You can sleep right now. Like I said, you don't have to wait. I gotta drop stuff off anyway. Why is there a path block here? Strange. He's on misclick. Could have been. I don't know. I don't need to wear this right now. I'm gonna go visit the guys. Let me know when you're ready to uh, work on that highway. Yeah. Um, oh, they still got their arms uh, out. Yeah. I get to hug hard. Oh, he gave me a hug. He knows the drill. Hey, here comes the missus. Do I get a hug from you too? 
Give me a hug. Uh oh, heart. Is this okay? Do I have permission? She's okay? All right. Yeah. Well, she turned away a little bit, but you know, hey. I guess well, I guess we all get a little, a little nervous when we're on the air. How are your gifts doing? You got a lot of good stuff in here. Want some of this for fun? I know it's disgusting, but yeah. All right. I gotta go, guys. I'm live. I'll chat with you later. Actually, am I, uh, yeah, too string I can put away. I'm getting restless. I want to finish the nether highway. How are these doing? What materials should I bring? Uh, I've got the glass. Um, I'm going to have you knock out stone, and I'm going to be putting glass down. I think that's what we're going to be doing. All right. He didn't sleep yet. We are talking about now I can sleep, and he's still not slept this whole time. Got my boat ready, got my axe, got my boots on. There he goes. Alright, my food situation's good enough. Alright, let's do this. Make sure you got your food, make sure you got your shield. You know the routine. You can always stop and look at my yep. screen right now in the live stream if you want to see what I have on me at all times. It's there ready to go. Food, lights, gapples, my baby, my, my plushie. A shield, extra dirt, extra stone, lots of glass, everything that I need. And also I have a lot of free space. And this is all stuff I don't mind losing. And of course the flint and steel in case I need to spark up a portal if I get stuck somewhere. I don't have my emergency um, obsidian on me though. But usually if I'm doing like a big adventure I'll have all my obsidian and a flint and steel. So I could just be like, I'm lost, I'm stuck, I'm going up. I just make a portal, spark it up, and just go straight out. Just go straight up and go like, yeah, fuck the nether. I don't care where I am. It's buried in this place. <laughs> That's how I look at it. How many mobs we got over this time? We got a creeper over there. Okay, so let's see where he's hanging out. Are you almost here? Oh, the creeper moved. You're taking the wrong path. What the heck? Hold on a second. I don't know where you are, but I'm down here. He's going to trigger this thing in a second. Oh, I see your tag. Oh, there it is. Past the stairway. And disappeared okay. behind the water. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay, gold booty is on, and in we go. Yep. All right. Now, remember, we're running. We're not boating yet. It's not safe at the other end. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Choo choo. Look at you, it's almost like you're running on lava. Oh yeah. And eventually we can also put doors in and stuff like this and make a place up to the uh, fortress there or wherever we want to go. We can just add to this, right? Just got to be very safe when you're doing it. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I do this. Now, there could be a bore up here, so of course, first thing you do is get your shield on. And what I've been doing to, I mean, I don't mind losing a few of these, but this is what I've been doing is, I, I usually start, I have 64 glass on me, so what I've been doing is I go um, 16 out and 16 back and then glass it, same on the other side to keep it even, but I don't care. To be safe, I would suggest you just do like 1, 2, 3, 4, and then go back 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'll just pop the glass in behind you and I'll be doing this. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. If something drops down, I'll deal with it. I'm armed in several ways. You can start with that side and work your way down. I'll follow you with the glass. And then I'll right. do... But uh, before you do that, actually, I'll do the last little section here of glass so you know where to stop because we're right at the end of this thing. We want to have a view here, but not there. Eh, my mouse got stuck. There we go. Okay. I have too much of this. Alright, go ahead. I'm ready with the glass. Punch away. Break some stuff. Oh yeah, and you want to be right up next to it so you collect some of the stuff, right? Yep. Yeah, you want to be like, when I want block. Alright, work on the next section. I am already filling in faster for me, but I can just keep an eye on things and make sure everything's safe. So we will lose like one blocks. or two. We will lose one or two. That's normal, right? So 
Can I just stand up here? Just walk down the line? Nope. You can be dropped on and knocked off. And the way oh, to be not okay. knocked off is to be crouching. And to be crouching means slower. And slower means another form of risk, right? So, like I said, just do it like I did and you're safe. And I'm keeping an eye on the... You can just keep going forward because I'm just going forward. You know? Yep. Like a machine. You don't have to come back. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Put all this together. Because there are mobs up there, and when it's two blocks open like this, they will drop down on you. And a boar will one-shot you, possibly, if you're not ready for it, so... There's none up there right now, but there has been a few hanging around here. So, uh, if you're really nervous, do one row at a time. You just lose more stone if you're not, like, right on top of it, right? I don't mind losing some. It's not a big deal. But, you know, I'm just showing you the best way to do stuff, and then... We can always do stuff the worst way later. And there we go. Yeah. Teamwork. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly run this along here because I forgot. This will be helpful to show you the pattern that I'm doing. And I do hear a boar up there right now. Please. Hmm. I'll just go around this corner a little bit as well. Yep. See? You hear him? Oh, I'm out of glass. Hang on. Oh, there's 20. There we go. So I'm going to have to go back up and get more glass because I forgot this wasn't filled in yet. So what we're going to be doing is knocking out um, the same thing, all this stone, and putting glass in. So it's just these these two across the top, right? I've only got six left, so I'll just quickly do these six myself, and then we got to go back and get more glass. Oh, I think that's a pig one. So I do the top level first so he doesn't drop down. And there we go. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, we can boat. Hang on, let me get my boat, because this way is safe going back. At least for now. Hmm. So much faster going back right now. <laughs> Woo -wee. Right to the end. Full speed it. Full speed it. Oh, you oh. slowed down. Oh, I was hoping you'd go like right up to me. That's fine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh yeah, there's some fun stuff I want to show you about this blue stuff. Now, um, <laughs> This is uh, this stuff that breaks here. This is like the veins. Uh, it just kind of expands around, but when enough of it, enough mobs die in one spot, this stuff will expand, and eventually you end up with this stuff. So listen to what happens. When, oh, there's a zombie. Hang on, let me just uh, deal with this guy. So what happens? Oh, I don't need this. When you punch this stuff, watch this. Well, I gotta toss this again because it's too close to me. Fuck. Here we go. XP. See that? They're XP blocks. Mm -hmm. You know about oh. that, right? You didn't know about that. Well, there you that. go. So, punch that one right there. Just punch that one out. XP. They, I'll fill a hole. Now, the thing is, they don't grow back, but if you kill a bunch of mobs on top of this stuff, you'll hear a sound that sounds like... Uh, it's really creepy sounding. And it starts to grow. You do that a few times, you get this achievement. Oh. It expands, or whatever it's called, right? Kind of creepy. So you can <laughs> grow XP blocks. Actually, a lot of people will do it where... They just set up a mob farm. Come on in. They set up a mob farm and they just keep killing stuff and just expanding it out. Now eventually, you know, if you turn stone into skulk blocks and then you punch them out and get the XP, eventually you're turning everything that was stone into air blocks. So you can run out of world eventually if you keep doing it, right? But, you know, you just have to plan an area where you don't mind messing the world up quite a bit by doing that because it is going to get a little messy. So, of course, we are almost out of glass. I have 62 in this chest right now. But you know the drill about making more glass. And obviously, we need a lot more. Mm -hmm. So, outside here, uh, I will grab some more sand. We have a whole fuck ton. One, two, three, four, plus two. And then I'm going to need this one 16. I'm going to need, uh, whoops, that's not right. I'm going to do four and two and four. And for yeah, okay, that's good. All right, I got all the sand to fill up all four systems. You don't have to grab anything right now. We're all good. All right. Now, here's where I use the chest. You can watch my screen for this because this will make more sense if you see it live. So what I do is I take, because I'm doing four furnaces, right? So we're just going to take four of these right now. We know the exact numbers, if you remember from another world, how much we can put in one furnace with the lava, right? So I'm just basically pulling up those calculations right now, and there they are. 64 and 36 stacked like this 
So you know it's one, two, three, four lines. We have one, two, three, four furni. So it's perfect for that. So you remember the first little bit, you know, we're gonna have an overflow. So first thing I do is I, I just randomly pull these down. We start each one off. 64, 64, 64, and 64. Then I take the buckets out. One, two, three, and four. Now I want my bucket here, but I'm gonna give you the fun job. Take these four buckets and fill them up with lava from our lava system, which is right outside there. And just bring them back and, uh, yeah, just give them to me. And that's it. And all we got to do is just work our way through this last little bit of sand. I'm just going to bring them right into here. That's just so I can calculate them out. Then I go through 36 more. Yeah, bring that lava out when you're ready. Just go pick it up. Uh, where? I gave you four buckets uh, and I said go get oh, the lava from are. our lava source out there. Yeah. I, I didn't see that the buckets were in there. Ah, uh, no. yeah. Wrong way. Right way. Left. Wrong way. Past the water. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Lava source. There, he's got it. <clears throat> the more time you spend in a world, the more time you'll memorize where everything is. Yep. You'll, you'll get used to it. Remember, don't open a door with lava. You might accidentally place it. So always keep an open hand. I use slot five you're open sure hand you're right. for safety reasons. Now, you can just give them back to me, please. Awesome. And what I do, since we're alive, you can see what I do here. I just keep them out of the way. That way you don't accidentally put too much in and have a problem. So I'm trying to do this so that one lava bucket equals this fire equals exactly the number of 64 plus 36. So what I do with this is I pull out the glass first so there's room for more sand. Obviously we need that. Then I go to the first furnace, tap this, 26, 36. See how the number goes down? Tap that one for that one, and this one's for four. So they all exactly have 26. Take my glass, put it up there, and we're good for a few minutes. We have enough time to sleep. Beat you again. <laughs> uh, my hands were off the keyboard. <laughs> I kind of cheated. I kind of cheated. I knew you weren't ready because you were watching my screen. <laughs> that's okay. Yep. But that's what I do. So now, you know, you have like another four or five minutes. So I just quickly check my food and whatever, top that up, make sure I have enough of that. 64 lights. I have some extra cobble I can put away. I'll probably free up a little more space. I just tap that out. Take a look at my inventory. Decide if there's anything else I need to do right now. And then I can go back and see how much room we got. There's six more cents. So basically, as I keep pulling this glass out, I keep tapping these up from 26 down to zero here, and this equals 64, and that's it. Then we can go away and do whatever we want after that's done, and we never have to worry about it because there'll be enough fire and enough sand to equal exactly 64 blocks of glass in here, or less. As long as it's at least 64 or less, you can leave it and forget about it, and when the furni are done burning and they're all cold, you can just click on it, 64 blocks of glass will be in each one just sitting there. So you don't have to think about it anymore. So until that happens, you gotta keep pulling it out. You get a little bit of XP, you just pull it out like this. Put your glass away, then go down the line. Furnace one, first block of sand. Now we're at 17 for each one. And that way you don't accidentally put in too much or too little, right? And that's mm -hmm. it. So anything you need to do now, we have, uh, you know, 17 blocks of sand, which will take like 45 seconds. So if there's anything you need to do, like, Check your food, check your inventory, make sure you didn't yep. drop anything, you know. So people do are so focused on like these really intense, elaborate systems and stuff. I, you end up doing this anyway. So why go up to an elaborate, massive machine that took you like three or four hours to build to stand on it and click on it and go, okay, well, it's doing this for me, but I can click on a furnace and pull glass out. I don't need a machine to do that. And yeah, it's fun to watch maybe, but you know, you need to check your food. You need to uh, maybe regrow some trees or whatever. And, you know, you just just remember, like, every one minute or so, just go over and just check your furni and make sure everything's, like, less than 64, and then you're good to go. You can just do whatever you want after that. It doesn't take long. And if you have eight furni, we'd be, like, <laughs> we'd have, like, too much glass. It's just insane how much you end up with. Now I'm down to nine. Give or take, right? So... Doesn't take long. We have two stacks of glass and 40. See how fast that is? 
I would have just doubled that if I had eight Ferna, and I usually have anywhere between six and eight in most of the worlds that I'm in. It takes longer to go out and find a desert and dig up all the sand with a shovel and then bring it all the way back to your base than it does to like turn it into glass. Mm -hmm. And you're using no coal. You're saving all your coal and your sticks for making uh, more torches for anywhere you're exploring. Put a couple more in there. And then we'll finish off at least the first half of this highway. And then I think what we're going to do, because it's 8 o'clock, we're going to go to the second portal. We're just going to run there on the ice. Um, oh, I want to show you how to gather the ice. Yeah, I got to show you that. And then we'll go to the portal and we're going to go exploring. Because I haven't even been through there. I've just seen the portal, gone to the other side and seen what's there. So we're going to need a stack of torches each and we're going to be very low down. We're going to drill our way upwards and find out. Hopefully we're not inside somebody's base. Hopefully I plan this correctly. We should be good. And then we'll have an entry point on that point. So if we ever die and end up at spawn, for whatever reason, if our bed's busted, you know, we'll just write down those cords on a notepad file. Like, again, I'm thinking in terms of, like, anarchy survival server class lessons, right? So you go to spawn, you're like, shit, I lost everything, I'm screwed. Someone maybe found your base, they got your stuff, whatever, but for whatever reason you want to get out of spawn as fast as possible. 2B, 2B, kind of like flashbacks or whatever. Get out of spawn, you go to your coordinates, you're like, where are they? You check your, your, your F3, you hit that a couple of times, okay, I know where to go. You go in the, right about here, you have a couple of flowers down as your marker, and you know, like, if you go down here, there's a tunnel about 12 blocks down. Dirt, you find some cobblestone, and you're like, yep, I'm on the course, I'm on the right path. You go down a little further, you drop down into your hole, you close the hole above you, and you go, okay, now, I follow my lights in this cave, I go to my, my area where I know the lights run out. And where the lights run out, you know you have to go swimming, which is why I wanted to give you the Depth Strider boots with the, uh, mm. you know, the Depth Strider. Because then you have to swim under a secret area and hold your breath, and you go under this underwater cave, and you come back out the other side of the underwater cave, and you go, <gasps> and you make it just in time, and then you see your magic portal, and presto, nether highway, and you're here in about 30 seconds, and you're back at your base. And they're back at spawn going, which way did he go? I can't see his name tag anymore. And you're like, where's my emergency chest? Oh, I'm going to slay those motherfuckers when they get here. If they find you. Because they have to know all your strats, all your tricks. And, you know, this is why I go to some places and I don't stream what I'm doing. Because I don't want them knowing all my tricks, you know. I hide this type of stuff for a reason. Or I put B right back on my screen and I mute my mic. So that people don't know where I have stuff here even. And there we go. There's the last nine blocks of sand. See how they go in? Just like that. There we go. Now I got 55 in each. Mm, so now cool. we have one, two, three blocks of glass. And we don't even need them all. Because I think, well, you know, I might need more. Who knows? I'll just take them. I'll just take most of it. Fine. Well, that should be it. We're ready to go back down into the nether. I got my boots on already. So we're ready to go. Let's finish off this little bit of the ice boat highway. So this section is done. Then I'll show you how much fun it is with a silk touch pick and where it's located. So if you ever need more ice for whatever reason, you'll know where to go. <coughs> yeah, most of Minecraft is it's a lot of work. It's just knowing where stuff is, getting it, gathering it, making more of it, blah, blah, blah. It's crazy. Indeed. It's a block game. Pick up a block, put one down. Pick up another one, put it down. That's all it is. With occasional insane adventures. Alright, I'm gonna bounce my way along to the end. Start working on that glass. And if you catch up to me, then yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing. You break down the last few with me and then we're good. Then it's done. Then it's all done, at least this side, so we can boat both directions on this half and then Sometime over the next week, I'll finish off the other section, fancy it all up the same pattern, and then they'll be good to go both directions, and then we can start looking at other adventures, like actually venturing out into this nether and, you know, show you how to get an enderman farm going or something. I don't know. I'll come up with something. Yep. I'm not going to get all of these because I'm doing this really high up, so I'm going to lose more here, but that's fine. I don't care do a few at a time. I don't know how many mobs are here right now, so hopefully we're not going to get dropped on. I think we're okay. I should just do four at a time, just in case. Nothing drops in on us. Hey, he's here! Alright, so this is all I'm doing, is just busting out four at a time and putting these down. 
You can do that on this side if you want. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you some glass. Hopefully you won't misclick too much. I'll give you a... There, take a few more. Have some fun. Do the same thing I'm doing. Just up to the edge here anyway. You can catch up to me eventually. Just do this. Oh, I misclicked myself. See, this is what happens. Every once in a while you might lose one. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks. But, yeah. Just my hitbox is ever so slightly off because I sometimes go a little too fast. I just have to slow down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do this corner now. Oh, there's a pig over here. Hello. You're not going to do nothing, Mr. Pig. I'm not worried about you at all. Oh, it's nice to be able to see around this corner finally. If something comes down, just say help, and I will come over and I will kill it. All right. <clears throat> uh, I am going to go around here a little bit more. I'll just leave that for now. Around here a little bit more. There we go. So, uh, you're doing good over there. Awesome. I'm going to start doing a little bit of this section as well, because I think I have enough to do that. Maybe I'll do this corner for you so you know where to stop. I am. Should I leave that as a pillar? Maybe I will. Alright, so I'll do these two. So you know not to go past there. I'll start going on this side though. Um, fill this in. Alright, there you go. So you fill that in. I'll start over here. Yeah. Construction team. There we yeah. Go. Oh yeah, I have an extra block hanging out over. That's fine. Alright, so there's the pattern. Oh, it's a nice view now. Look at this. Oh, stuck oh, yeah. blocks. I love, like the glass. Alright, so now we just gotta work on this section between there and there, and that's easy. If you want, I'll I'll do some of this. You can put some glass down. I'll do three here, and I'll start over here and do three more. I'll start putting some glass down here. On that one. You got that, you can get rid of that. I'm just skipping a few as I go. Just so you don't end up breaking glass. Just leaving a pillar just temporarily there. If I can do this. And this. We can fill all those in. How many do we got? 36, 61. Yeah, we can keep going. This is good. One, two, three. I'll do these ones. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I messed up my calculations, but that's okay. I'll do this. Pick that up. There we go. You can do those. Hey, we're almost done. Look at this. It's the last uh, eight blocks. The rest has to be glass, and that's it. There are mobs up there. I always do the top ones first. Yeah, let's see. Did we get everything? Hey, I think we're done. Hey, right. look at this. Look at nice. All right, and we'll work on this later. So obviously what I'm going to be doing is the same thing all the way down here. This way is a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I do the same yeah. pattern. For now, you can still run on it, right? It just means there might be mobs down there because there's no buttons yet. So, there, I, we do need a little bit more ice down there, so now let's do the ice thing. I'll show you how much fun that is. But, oh, let me get my boat out. We can boat both directions along here now safely. This is fucking awesome. Look at all those pigs up there. I just went right under them. They all spawn above us now because they can't spawn down here. Let's see how, let's get a good view of them coming in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Nice. It was a lot of fun. And just think, on the surface, you just traveled uh, about 3,000 blocks. Oh my god. Because, I mean, down here nice. we're at negative 333, uh, this way, and it goes to about uh, 12, negative 12, right? So that's not a lot. Yep. But on the surface, you know what the cords are up there. Let's go upstairs, and I'll show you what the cords are up there. Just so everyone can see it. So the cords up here, going that direction, it is, oh, it's 28. Okay, so 2,800 blocks were traveled in about uh, five seconds. Nice. That's faster than an elytra, right? <laughs> These are on the server too, if you're traveling by nether. Yep. So that's why I do that. Isn't that awesome? It's a lot of work setting it up, but if, you, if you're on an anarchy right, server, you, you just keep it hidden. Uh, if somebody finds it, they go to either end, make it very difficult for them to figure out which way you went. They might find your tunnel, they might find your base or whatever, but you have your base, but you also have hidden barrels that are nowhere near your base. Like, it could be a thousand blocks away from here, it could just be a random place. You're not streaming or whatever, and you just bury some shit. So you've got B plans and C plans and D plans, and it's awesome. 
And I will now put some stuff away that I don't need anymore. I'll put a few of these away as well. And I'll check on the glass since we're here. 14, all right. More glass for next time. Good time. Yeah, you can sleep, sure. We already have two stacks of 64 and 26. So while we're away and while we're coming and going, it's awesome. It just, uh, okay, we can put on our regular boots now, get our boats ready, and I need my silk pick. Where did I put that? I left that up here, I believe. Silk pick, yep. All right, I don't have a silk pick for you, so you're gonna be using mine. You ready to go? We're going boating. I'll meet you yep. out front by these slimies. I'll show you where it is. Just grab a boat, put on your depth strider, because if you need to get away from any mobs, you can now outswim them in seconds. So if you get a trident guy shooting at you, you just like go as fast as you can in the water and you'll probably and just zigzag a bit and you're fine. Oh yeah, I, I changed the dock. You see how I have stone around here? Oh yeah, I'm wearing depth yeah. strider, right? Watch how fast you can walk around here now. Remember how hard it is to wade oh. in water normally? Isn't this, it's like air, right? Yeah. Nice. It's it's awesome. But this is so that when you break your boat, like let's say you get out of your boat like this, you break it with yeah, it your axe, sink. it just pops in your inventory yeah. if it's like next to you. It doesn't yeah. even float there. Yeah. It just always pops in your inventory. So it's really handy for that. So come on That's this true. way. Uh, we are heading south, or, or mm. yeah, southwest. This is the way you want to go. So again, the mine is over there. You can see the pillar and whatnot, and there's a couple of slimes. But if you follow these lights, there's lights right next to this rock. So all you got to remember is go this direction, south, west, and you'll see these lights right next to me. Just follow them all around, and they will lead you to your destiny. Yay. And then after we get some ice and we put that into our nether highway, we're going to start adventuring out there. Now, this is good because if you die and if we find a good spot for, uh, for the spawn, from spawn to the portal for the nether highway, you'll know how to get back if you're ever here on your own or something too. Mm -hmm. So I made these light pillars in the ocean on the way so it's easy to find day or night. Night's a lot easier because these things are like mm, fucking beacons, right? Mm. And you just come up to here, and we are here. And I got my boat, so I got lucky. We okay. So there's no baby bears. So remember the baby polar bear things. So you just I always check around and make sure there's no baby bears because they just get really annoying when they're trying to kill you as you're trying to collect ice. And it's like no, no, my ice, not yours. <laughs> so you saw me do this once before. Remember when I was doing blah, right? Oh my god! <laughs> See how fast it is. I just drew my name in the snow. <laughs> so you got to be really careful with this thing because I went down two blocks here because I didn't move my my face fast enough. And there's some in the water down here. So now I have to like dig my way out. So it's only two blocks down to water here, but I'm going to trust you with this thing. I want you to experience what it feels like because this is too much fun. So this is a silk pick with mending, unbreaking three and efficiency four. Enjoy. Blast oh. out some ice. Uh, just be very. I tend to go right and left and try to keep my nose right on the horizon line as I'm doing it. And just swing around. I'm gonna get out of your way. I want to see you enjoy this. And just uh, make sure you pick up your stuff every once in a while. I mean, it won't despawn for like a few minutes. So just break the like. Sink. No, they come back. But you could break like about 500 blocks right now, and they'll all still be here. And then you can just pick them all up. So this is why I always keep inventory space for when I'm doing this too. I always keep about, if I don't have a shulker, I, I only take like my bare essentials and I just go and blast this stuff out. And then I go back with all the ice. I'm gonna do some stupid parkour for no reason. I jumped a puddle, We. Uh. Thing is, if you keep jumping, you stay, you keep your speed up, but if you slow down for a second, your feet stick to the ice a little bit. It's kind of funny. Mm. Whee! Come on, whip through this, man. Knock it all I'm down. On it. Just hold it down. Yeah, there you go. Just hold it down and just brrr, just turn your nose ah. around. It's awesome. It's a blast, man. I'm working on it. I haven't done this before. A bit. 
picking up some of the ice. So yeah, that's iceberg ice versus the ice uh, under here, which is normal ice. So you might end up with a few chunks of normal ice. We can convert them, but uh, they're not as valuable, right? They're kind of a waste. So I just drill out an iceberg or two, and then you've got enough ice for like your entire world, basically. I just love running on this stuff because it's so fast. It's ice skating. We all right. Hand me, hand me that pick. Oh, you're getting the hang of it now. Okay, cool. There you go. Yeah, you see how it kind of like starts and stops by itself a little bit. There's a slight lag sometimes. Like if you don't click a block like exactly head on as you start it and then start swinging around, it sometimes just doesn't grab right away. It's like using a chainsaw or something where it's sometimes it just like sticks a little bit or doesn't do exactly what you want. But once you start slicing through a log it starts going and it goes right through it like butter so I'm just gonna pick up as many as I can now because I see like yeah you don't have to go any lower it's just gonna be water underneath there and this is crap ice we don't want that can you right. see the two different colors of ice now yep yep so regular ice no good to us not valuable so this iceberg is almost done is that blue ice yeah we might have even some blue ice here hang on let me no that's regular ice okay Yeah, so make sure you get as much as you can now. You don't have to break anymore. Right. We've got enough. Just uh, you can give the pick back to me and just just go around and make sure we don't miss anything. Look on my screen. You can see all those yellow dots. That's a lot of stuff underneath here, I think. Might be uh. missing. So I'm going to go diving. See if there's... Yeah, there's stuff all around here. Hang on. See, this is why I have Depth Strider, too, is I can find all these, these, all these little hidden nooks and crannies around here. Yep. Yeah, ice all around here. I'm underneath the ice there, but let's see. If there's any more. Yeah, see, now I can see there's one here. I'm not going to fuss too much, but... Oh, there's a couple. Okay, that's good to know. We probably have too many now, but that's okay. That's good enough. Now, it's a little messy. I'll take my pick back. Oh, he's already thrown it. Okay, perfect. I will take this pick back, and I will finish off making this a little level. Just so it looks nice, so it doesn't look like crap. And this one. Oh, that's another thing too. If I'm moving through the water too quickly, the pick doesn't behave the same way because uh, yeah. depending on your enchantments, right? If you're standing still, if you're in water, uh, in the air, everything behaves differently, right? All right, so I got to eat up because I've been running. I have uh, two stacks. And a little bit more of packed ice. How many do you got? Of packed ice, not ice. Um, three, four, uh, seven. Seven stacks of packed ice? Yep. Woo wee! All right, well, that's more than we need. Let's get out of here. Just follow the lights back. <clears throat> All right. So that's why I, well, I have a silk pick for several reasons, because you can pick up blocks you can't normally pick up without breaking them permanently. Um, but I always like to have a nether ice highway using my ice boat to get around for emergency reasons. And in order to have that, you need lots of ice and you need a silk pick. So I always get a silk pick. The efficiency is not as important, but when dealing with uh, certain other things, you want efficiency. So I, I don't suggest efficiency as necessity for the ice. You don't really need it. It's just fun just blasting through the ice that quickly because it's yeah, just yeah. a laugh, right? <laughs> but I, I was looking around the first time I ended up going to another area and I was like, I don't know, I found a couple of small icebergs, but they weren't really worth it. And I was like, oh, next episode, I don't know, this is not very exciting for phase on. Then I like, I, I think there's something the other direction, but it's really far away. And then I boat over there and I'm like, oh my God, we're surrounded by icebergs. I was thinking of somewhere else. Holy fuck, we got plenty of ice. Oh yeah, what's in the barrel right now? Do we have room for stuff? I have Curse of Binding. Oh, I have an Efficiency 4 Depth Strider 3 Power 4 book in here, which we can combine to something. All right, I'll bring that upstairs since it's here. Put that in my magical chest of random fished up stuff. Which is this one, which I can go through later. All right, let's get all the ice into this shulker. 
Uh, it's the black one. Okay, so put all the ice in there. Stack it all up, including the regular ice. Holy crap, look at that, folks. See how fast that was? Yeah. So the nether ice highway, basically, if you filled this shulker box completely full of packed ice, it would be one shulker and maybe one more line of ice to do the entire thing both ways. Like both lines. Hmm. So it, you can see it, you get ice much faster than you get anything. Oh yeah, we gotta put some down there. Right, right, right. I'll just take a full stack. We'll take that with us and I'll leave that one there. Maybe we'll leave that there. There we go. Cause we gotta finish putting some ice down there. I don't need the boat yet. We do need more buttons as well. So maybe we do some buttons. So what do we got for logs right now? We need more wood. I will just, mm, I guess I'm gonna have to do some quick logging. We need buttons and I need them now. So I'm gonna chop these down real quick and turn all these into buttons. This is the best wood for that because it's fast and it grows back fast and we get apples as well and all that kind of fun stuff. Awesome. Oh, I have a big boy here. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, let's go up to center myself first. Go up four, get rid of this side wood. I see more there. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's a tall one done. Okay, good. Get rid of this. I don't see any more there. So now I punch with logs because I don't want to wear out my axe unnecessarily. I think that's about it. I don't see a uh, quick restroom visit. Be right back. All righty. Oh, there's one. There's that. Okay. Oh, there's some there. Oh, we got another tall one. Oh, I see. How tall? Um, maybe. Yeah, there's one there. Is that going to despawn? I think it's despawning. Okay. Good enough. now get my saplings in hand right away uh, speed run all this stuff make sure I have enough saps aim for the saps and the logs all right now I can get apples and anything else I have 24 it's not bad oh I see one there grab you an apple I need these guys there's more than one there's a log okay saplings 28 that looks like He's already getting pokey. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Oh, yeah, I can bone meal these ones. There we go. Okay, so now we have a good amount. Let's buttonize these right now. Planks. Done. Buttons. More buttons. Oh, yeah, we're doing the. Um, I was doing the oak. Uh, I don't need oak ones. I need the dark oak ones. That's right. Yeah, I'll save these up here anyway. I forgot about that. I should be using the other logs. I have a surplus. Oh, that apple should be put it there. I gotta do the dark oak stuff. Um, which means I gotta chop down more dark oak. Yeah, I don't wanna overdo it. Oh, I have extra stuff here. Hang on, there we go. Let's just do this right now. Buttons with this. Uh, 52, we're gonna need more than that. I um, let's use it up. All right, so we need some buttons. Keep forgetting I'm switching the buttons down. Okay, so there we go. That's good. We can just grind this into the bin. Good enough. Yeah. So all we need is this, this. We're gonna boat down to the end because that is now secure. Put down our ice, put down our buttons. Then we're gonna go adventuring at the other side. So I don't think I want my silk pick just in case something goes wrong. I'm going to save that. I like saving a few things just in case. Uh, 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 got a portal on. I think I'm good to go. Emergency pearls. Got enough arrows. 62. Everything's healed up. What else might I want at the other end? I know he's got a plushie. That should be good. Yeah, I think we're okay. Just looking here in case. Oh, I am curious about 
where this might go. I could always get another one, I think. So I'm going to take that. I might play with that a bit. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Just waiting for the Faz to get back. And we're going to go 8.30. Half an hour left, roughly. All these guys are doing. They should all be grown in. See, look how fast that is. It's crazy fast. What a view. What a place. Absolutely gorgeous. Come back. Welcome back. Did you see how I decorated up here too? <laughs> when I got my silk so, pick, I uh, I silk picked these. So you get the ore block as it is rather than breaking it, right? That's an actual see. deep diamond block just up there. And a little bit of gold because I thought that'd be nice. And I also want to show you the bean block. So now we have a block of beans over my head. Oh, yeah. Fucking <laughs> raw iron. Yeah, yeah. So I found another iron vein, obviously. Oh, yeah. Did you see how much iron we have now? I, I found a bit more. Just uh, check the metals box here and see how many blocks of iron we got sitting in this thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So we don't really need to focus on an iron farm. You know, let's just say I'm a professional miner. I end up with too much iron sometimes if I'm lucky early on. And now I've been lucky a couple of times. So, all right, let's go. Time to uh, do a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Um, make sure we're going to the other portal and coming out. Make sure you have enough lights. So you might want to bring at least one stack of 64 lights with you. Make yep. sure you bring them, all right? You're good? Okay, um, I have, of course, enough blocks on hand. I have my ice ready to go, my boat, and my buttons. But I also have my emergency travel bed. Make sure you have one of those. And I got yep. all my kit, and of course, all my uh, buff -up. And of course, you have a totem of undying. I have pearls, you know, there you go. Yep. All the emergency stuff, because <clears throat> adventure awaits. Now we're going to go all the way to spawn, and hopefully it's going to be successful, and then we can come all the way back here and do an outro. And it'll take seconds right. to go from spawn to here anytime we want now. Awesome. Oh yeah, which means, just in case, I am going to mm. block this up so we can see what it looks like on the way back too. So what I normally do, come on all the way out, is rather than just doing two blocks, is I do four like that. So if somebody does just go around just picking, going, oh, I'm just going to see if there's a hole somewhere. Most people just leave one hole, right? So if they just if they don't find it right away, they just move on. So it's kind of a way of hiding stuff. And I usually like to do like on another anarchy server, I have it where it, you have to dig in like eight blocks deep to find my mine shafts anywhere. I bury things like crazy. I don't want anyone finding my stuff. Fair enough. <clears throat> I gassed, by gassed. Be my gassed, be my gassed, be my gassed. I wish there was Doppler effect. Imagine if that was if we had that in voice chat right now. <laughs> yeah. Now, or just, just like the, the mobs, the mobs. That, that was that was almost three thousand blocks you just traveled in the overworld. Pretty wild, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It takes Ernie about four minutes to get to uh, my place. So now that's like when this is all done, it it takes like seconds. And you don't even need an elytra. So if you die here, you save your elytra. You're not going to lose the thing. Uh, yeah. Where do I want to put buttons right now? We should probably start at the other end. Okay. So this area, we got a lot of mobs. And, uh, oh, there is something I could show you. Where is it? Here? No, it's over here. Where did I put the thing? No, it is over here. No, the dirt blocks have moved. I guess they are here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did this. I'm going to show you something. You might find this exciting. In this area is, of course, a bastion, which you probably just got the achievement for just by being here. Yep. So if we ever wanted to, it's already been raided before I even got over here. And Ernie's like, yeah, we raided this because it's, it's getting closer to spawn, right? But it is here if you ever want to just like practice and explore or whatever. Oh, wait, did I, uh, did I miss something in chat? No, yeah, you just got the achievement, right? All right, let's go. And here's the portal coming up. See how fast it is? And we're just like, sightseeing on the way in the boat we'd be there in like eight seconds 
and there's a lot of endermen here so they might spawn in so don't oh that's another thing if you're running along here don't aim straight forward in case you look at an enderman i tend to look slightly down you don't have to look all the way down yep. but all right, i'm gonna spam some of these buttons down to finish this job mm. so let me just uh i should do 32 this way and i'll do 32 on the other i'm also make use of my time while i'm coming and going right uh that is 34 33 32 here we go this way Spam these down. I'm trying to keep the color pattern the same, so I gotta remember to use dark oak for this. And there we go, perfect. So that is at least a little safer. All right, let me just eat. This room is a lot smaller. And the reason it's in the middle of lava is two reasons, of course. This ended up working out really well. One, oh hey Ender, he's on the roof. If somebody sees this, they're flying around out here, they're going to see this thing really easily. Because obviously this is not buried. This is like in the middle of a lava ocean. Anyone's going to find this. They find it, they're going to go through this portal, and they're going to start looking for lights. They're going to look to see where we went. That's why huh. we're not placing lights in a certain area, and I'll show you when we get there. If they come through from the other side, they come through here, they're obviously going to go, aha, and go this way, right? But we already know it's at the other end. Good luck finding our secret hole. That's why I'm keeping that side hidden. They come through from that side and follow me this way i want them going through here and, and i'm going to set up a fake path that says i went that way or maybe i went that way but not the way we're going to go so if, whether they see it on this side here the other side here or the other side on the surface or the other side of this one on the surface it's going to be confusing for them right okay so uh, you know, good to have your shield on. There's no pigs around. You can swap into all your favorite gear. I get fully armed up because this is all new territory. I have no idea other than what I've already seen. And we're not too close to spawn. So if all goes well, as I come out the other side here, I did put a few torches down, but I got lucky. Wait till you come through here and I'll show you what I got going on. I got so lucky with this one because it's a lot of water. So. And as you can see on this side, we have a little water trough that goes down pretty deep. And on this side, we have a, a pool that's kind of like your average pool. So I just put down a few lights to stop mobs from spawning right next to us whenever we come through. But that's it. So I was thinking originally of putting a path right here. Because it would be, this is, if it was my own world, i just put a path right here, come down straight into the portal. But someone's going to see this on this side and the other side. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to explore around instead. Are you ready for like uh, some deep sea diving in the middle of a cave that you've never been in that has no lights on the other side? Because that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm gonna follow you. All right, so, Good. you know, yeah, we're gonna be, uh, you can just walk on the water for now because you have the depth strider. So I have these lights in here temporarily just to stop mobs from spawning. But this is the end of the path, as you can see. There's nowhere else to go. There's a little thing here. I was thinking of making this the path. I haven't done the whole thing yet, but I just put down three torches and left it. So maybe I ran that way, maybe I died. If I want it to be really cheeky, what I do is I just like, I'll go over here and I'll just like put down some, some blocks and then run back. And if somebody ever find as I leave the area, if someone comes back through, they're like, oh, there's some blocks and there's no more torches. Oh, you must have died, right? It's a fake out. Mm -hmm. You do that on an energy server, right? So what we're going to be doing instead is going down under here. So follow me under here, and then we're going to come up right on the other side. Okay, just follow me. Okay. Yep. Now, in the future, mm -hmm. I'm going to put a piece of glow lichen right here so that you can see that as a marker, right? So now, this is where it gets interesting. For now, I'm just going to temporarily put a light, but pretend that's glow lichen, right? I'm going to get my shears when I come back later. I'm going to pick up some of this gold lichen, and, and I'm going to place it into a pattern. Maybe I'll make a V like an arrow. So if you can memorize stuff like that, that will really be beneficial. So now, don't place any torches. Well, I guess we can make a path, but we're going to have to get rid of all the torches after, right? So if you have shaders, of course, you can always hold the torch. Uh, we'll just leave one here for now so you can see where we came in. I'll actually leave two. So that's really obvious. If you see these two torches later, you know to head that direction towards that one, right? So that's easy for you. I don't, I wouldn't normally do that. So now I look at my cords and go, okay, we're at negative 110 by negative 207. We're almost at spawn, but it's somewhere up that way. So now we have to figure out what would be a good direction to go. And I'm thinking this is the long way. So that's 207 going this way and that's 100 going that way. So I'm thinking we go this way. And if we're going this way in the future, then I'm going to put these here because I just changed my mind. That's definitely the better angle. 
So that way if we come down here, two torches straight that way. So now we're going to start adventuring. So we can place torches, but they all have to be deleted after. I just want to see what's around here first. It's a dead end. Fuck. Okay, so... Um, if we make a tunnel and someone comes down, that's why we need... So let's imagine we place a tunnel here for some reason. Let's say this is our tunnel. They're going to come down and go, Torch! Aha! Torch! Aha! Torch! Aha! Yep. They went that way. So if we delete all these torches and use Glow Lichen instead, and just leave Glow Lichen there and get rid of maybe... There's one here we can delete. There's one there. Two there we can delete. See what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. they'll come in here. And then maybe I, I start planning now, like, oh, let's have a fake out. Instead of we went this way, let's pretend we went this way. Okay, so we're going to put some lights down this way and make it look really obvious we're going to have to deal with some mobs here. I'm going to pretend I went this way. So now we got to snipe a creeper, get him out of the way. we got to get rid of these spideys. Whoops. Went a little too low. I'm rushing it, that's why. See what else is around. Get rid of this creeper. I hit the spidey. That's fine. There we go. All right, so let's say which would be a good way to go. I went this way. Pick these up, get that. I don't want flaming arrows. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look like something I would do. I would have turned. Let's go this way. So now what I'm doing is I'm setting up the fake out trail. I have to be very careful. What else is around here? Where did I go? Okay, I went here. I was running away from spawn and here's my secret tunnel. So now what we do is, oh, there's water. Oh great, we got an aquifer. Let me just take a look at it, see what we got. Okay, this is the type of aquifer we can very quickly delete. So what I'm gonna do is just, uh, I can't quite reach that. I'm gonna go like this, we're gonna delete all this on this side first. Then we're gonna start to delete this. So it makes sense in a minute, chat. Don't you worry. So now I am going to, we're gonna be going, hmm, where do I wanna go? Yeah, don't get too close to me, bro. Stay back like six blocks just in case, because you could drown in here while I'm doing this. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm just planning it out. I'm going to make this look like... Okay, I'm going to delete all this water now. The old-fashioned way. Okay, let's get rid of that. We lost a torch. We'll just put one out of the way. Oh, I lost a block. Hang on. i got to get rid of that one. Torch is still there. Good. Oh, I'm missing some more. What am I missing? That one? Ah, that's the one I was missing. Torch is still there. Good. Now we can go like this. There we go. I'm gonna make this look like a tunnel. So I just dig this out a little bit like this. I leave the walls. Now I'm gonna get a bit more water here and there until I get through here. Maybe I go up because there's too much water to delete. There's glow squid. I'm gonna make this like this and pretend I started going up right here. Now I'm gonna go up a bit. See what we got. And I'm gonna start doing this, and then we go forward again a little bit. And then I just start, you know, uh, I could actually put a light here maybe, make it look like I did something. Sometimes I'll just put a crafting table down or whatever. What do I got? Let's put down some dirt. I just make it look like I was hiding here or doing something. Now we leave the area and we now know our real way back. And then what I do is I uh, delete this torch. Hey. Uh, head all the way out because I got to back out and I just start closing this all off I make it look like I'm either hiding here or this is a way out and I make it really obvious put down something like that and I'll leave a torch on it so now anybody who comes in here they're gonna follow these this obvious trail to see where I went and those two won't be there so this is now a path that goes to where we're gonna be digging so now you see what I mean? Right. If anybody comes down, they're going to go there, and they don't know what's going on, and they're going to figure out that's a fake out. But then they go, well, which way did he really go? They're going to start looking for other markers, or they're going to think some guy's a noob and doesn't know what he's doing, right? So this area is pretty secure. We're not having too many mobs. There's not a lot of overhangs. It's not very big, so there's a waterfall over by that lava. I'm not going to look down there. It's a waste of time, but we can mess with it later. Now is the time where we just go up and hopefully I don't dig into lava or something so we're just doing this one two three and see what happens and every once in a while I'll throw down a torch so I can see what I'm doing let's see where we end up it is now 8:43. okay everything is timed out as best I can and we'll make Appreciate this it. we'll make this bigger later right of course but 
Oh, I got crapper. Free copper. I'm at, I'm at negative 38. That's not bad. At least it's not too deep. This portal is like it could have been like a deep slate or something. Depends right. Oh, great. We have water and sand. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of water coming down. You can just find a spot to breathe like I do every once in a while. I'm going to go explore this quickly. I got my helmet on. Yeah, okay. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Oh, this sand moved. Hang on. Let me... Oh, I'm in the water. Uh, I have to wait a second. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Oh, oh, this goes right out. Hang on. This is perfect. Let me see where we are. I'm in the middle of the ocean. Just hang on a second. Where am I? Oh, this is perfect. Oh, wait. What is that? Here it is. Okay, this is the good spot. Okay, so now... <clears throat> yeah, don't drown, bro. I said hang on. I can stay down there a second. Oh, you can float on the surface for now. Just don't die, alright? Just stay yeah. up there. Shoot something if it comes at you. This is perfect because we have a sand block here. So we can just temporarily put a dirt block and there's our way in. Because anybody who sees this now, uh, you know, they're not likely to find it in the middle of the ocean. So here's where I look yep. down. And if I line my crosshairs just right now, I want to face, maybe I want to face west. And it's not daytime now. I'm going to wait for daytime. 610, okay, that's not too bad. Just going to wait a second. And when I look down here, I'm going to screenshot it. Bam, there's my coordinates. So now I've got the coordinates for that block. I know exactly where to go. So that wasn't much of an adventure, but now what we need to do from here. So what you're going to basically do is remember where this boat is. I can just sit in it for now and stand on it. Oops, I got the glitch. Hang on, I got to break my boat. Oh, this fucking thing. There we go. Let me get this again without the boat glitch this time. Uh, I'm stuck again. Oh, fucking thing. Come on, Minecraft. Not being... Okay, I'm going to wait three seconds. Then do it again. No boat glitch. Okay, there we go. So this is now... You could also do a screenshot from here. And and I suggest you do a screenshot because this is the coordinate. This is our secret yep. tunnel now. Right? So now we can just uh, go to spawn. I can take all my stuff off that I don't need. Actually, I want the chest... Test... Chest... Test this out. That is his base this way. Let me see my numbers. I believe... Uh... Huh. So actual spawn is back this way though. Six five four. Yeah, actual spawn is this way. Okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna go to zero zero anyway, because I wanna see how close it is from there. Let's see where we are. It is wild ocean here. I remember when I first spawned in, I was on land. Oh, there is land ahead. It's a ship, it's not land. Oh, maybe that's why spawn was way over there. Oh, so I'm going to turn back this way because their base is close to spawn. Because I don't remember the day I joined, I didn't screenshot my cords. I have the cords for spawn, if you want them. I'm doing this the hard way so I can show you how I do it, right? That's why I'm, I'm uh. talking it through like a tutorial, right? So I can show you what I'm doing. I'm going to go around here. His base is to the left. Also, I get a chance to explore all around here in a boat, which is always good, just in case you... Oh, there's a base over there. That's where I spawned in. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was over here somewhere. Anyway, we now know where it is. There's his base. There we go. So here you can see, folks, there's a beacon. There's the big glass dome. There's all the stuff they got going on here. Damn. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I, uh... I would be cautious here because there are some holes and you might get stuck in them and I don't know what else is going on. But also, there's another advantage to uh, being able to come from... Oh god, I got lag. My frame is really low. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, all, the cl all the clear glass is... Uh, it's not the glass. The there's, there's a mob farm or something nearby or a million chests. Grab your boat, bro. I got mine. Don't leave your boat here. That's your only means of water transport besides swimming. I mean, at least you got good boots. Let's just take a quick look. I will show you a couple of things while I am here. Now, don't fall. So if you do what I do, just be careful. When you get here, stop. And then walk right. very slowly, because this is sand and you can fall. I want to show you something. See this? This is what they want for an actual spawn point when they're going to set it up later. So when people join this world, this is the beautiful sort of like base Damn. that they have set up. 
So these guys are actually really good builders, right? They do some nice stuff. I see they're uh, they're making a perfect dome out of glass. With yep, glass no dome lines. on top, and then yeah. all this stuff inside. Yeah, they got a nice base. Then there's this build. I don't even know all what all this stuff is going on here, but it's a nice place way over there. So let's just say you die, and this is spawn in a world. Well, now all you have to do is go to your your notes, and you know where your secret that one dirt block is. What are the odds of somebody finding that in a random anarchy server, unless you're broadcasting it, or somebody's watching you? Maybe they're in crouch mode like this and they're sneaking and they're they're using pressing C and they're zooming in to see where you go. If they see you go down and you don't come back up after a couple of minutes, they think two things. One, you swam off and have water breathing skills. Or you went down and you have an air pocket somewhere, which means there might be something more than just an air pocket. So, you know, whenever I do that, I always check my map, I look around, you know, and I'll be like, okay, there's nobody here. And then I do the dive and I go to my, you know, my portal or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So just be careful if you're ever on another server. But yeah, so that um, portal right down there, dead center, if you ever need yep. gunpowder for rockets for flying around in your elytra, that's where you need to go. And I can show you the rest of it later, but um, there we go. It's done. So do you want to go to the exact uh, chords where when you die, you spawn in again? Because we can then navigate from there to where we got to go again. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, I know this thing works. That's cool. All right, so where are we boating? You're leading. Oh, I don't want to lead. Yeah, you have to lead me to the death point. Or I can kill you and you can say, I'm over here. I'll death carry point. I'll carry your stuff. I don't, I don't understand. What? We're going to, you said, I know where we spawn in. I can take you there. I'm saying, yeah, go for oh, it. Let's go. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm following you. One sec. Yeah, you're half invisible at the bottom. These boat glitches are just like, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so okay, funny. Here it is. Oh, that's a waterfall, I think, right? Yeah, I don't want to go down there. I don't know what's down there. All right, this way. All right, I'm following you. I kind of remember it being about that direction. Oh, God, look at this. Floating trees. We're going by land. All right. I think. Can I go by boat? Well, okay, I'll follow you then. Hey, you're you're leading. I'm just following you. I just, you went oh and stared at the land, so I assumed we're going by land. Hmm. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. We're, we're not going by land yet. We're still in the water. I want. I think it might be faster to go around. Okay. Because it's right near the shore. Oh, it's the other side where we... Oh, well. It's almost where we were. Nice. And, uh, we're about 200 meters away. 200 blocks. Nice. I'll see if I remember this when I get there. Let's see. This does vaguely look familiar. Oh, is that the big? No, it isn't. Okay. Yeah, I saw that when we came out over there. The floating sand. Oh, I know this spot. Yeah, I know exactly where we're at. You, you won't be able to break certain blocks around here, so I'm going to break my boat out in the water to make sure that I get it. Because some of these are spawn blocks, and if you uh, fall into this hole here, one of these. I put water there for Ernie because he got stuck. Yeah, see, there's a hole here. If you, f Oh, what the hell? There's a trap. Watch out. If you fall in that hole, you're not getting out. And I can't save you because it's, uh, it's a mod-only block. Yeah, this hole right here. Yeah. Ernie couldn't get I out of this. I never thought of that. So I had to go outside of the spawn blocks and put this water down. And all these blocks are, yep. like, unbreakable until right here. So I had to put water all the way... Oh, there's a pig watching me. I had to put water here so he could swim out. Dude... <laughs> Don't get stuck in these That's holes, okay? Whatever you do, there's holes. And like I oh, said, yeah. there's holes here. There's all sorts of shit going on. I don't know what they got going on here. Just be very careful around here. This is not my problem. There's a hole here. I don't know what this is. There's steps. I mean, 
I hate this place. It's scuffed. Let's let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I don't want I don't want anything to do with this place. I don't like these little traps everywhere. It's bad here. So now I'm gonna move out a little bit and then I'm gonna check my did I save that screenshot yet? I probably didn't. I wanna do this right now. There it is. I uh, all I, I need to two. do is I'm gonna shrink this down. It's not nighttime, so I'm not worried right now. I'm just gonna call it secret PNG, and that's it. All right, so now I can bring it up. So now let's say I died or whatever, right? Okay, so I find my secret PNG. I bring that up on my desktop, bring up my stream and everything else I gotta do, then bring up the picture again so it's sitting here that no one else can see. And if I click this, now I can go to it. So I'm going to 132, 163, let's go. So let's say you just died. You can make a boat out of trees or whatever, or maybe you can just swim it. Uh, 132, we're getting there. 132, almost too far. Okay, 163, 163. Yeah, it's not far from, not far from ground zero. There it is, we're close enough. That's all you'd need to do. That's it. All right, where's my axe? Okay, there we go. So now I'm just gonna look for a little dirt block somewhere around here. There it is, I found it. All right, and you can punch it with your fist. So you go like this, just stand on top. Punch it, come on, go down, and you can get air by standing right about here. So I'll fix this all up now. All right, so get some air, go down the steps, go down the steps, go down the steps, go down the steps, get your air. Okay, stop. Don't, 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 yeah, just, just float. There you go, you're safe for the moment. Just stay right there. I'm gonna set up an air chamber for you. Oh, there's more here, hang on. That's a problem. Actually, I'll, mm, yeah, I'll leave that there. And, now we can start adjusting. Hey, Jinxie, how's it going? I'm just showing phase on all my code. Now what you do is you put the dirt block above your hole, like that. And since it's dark down here, we can also put a light to stop mobs from spawning. So now, since we know that's where we're gonna be digging up, what I sometimes do is I will set up an extra spot like this. We want the water to go down, and we still wanna be able to get out. So now, what happens is, this dirt block is now directly above. So now if I break this from here, Water will go to that spot. See, it no longer floods the stairs. That's all you gotta do. So now, nice. when you break that block from the outside, like I will swim out here and I'll put the block down. Now you'll have a dry spot. So now, if you're crouching, I wouldn't even see your tag. I wouldn't even know you're there. But if I stand here and I break this block, it takes a second. I can go down here and I can stand up here or I can go down the stairs, immediately place it and crouch. Now I'm invisible. If somebody followed me to the ocean, they just saw me despawn, as far as they're concerned. They, and now I can even crouch across here like this, and I can do the... Don't don't stand, you can crouch all the way down. So, if I could look behind me to, and do it backwards too, to make sure they're not following me, get my sword ready. And if they come after me, you know, like... There's your pro strat. So if you're... If you see someone on your map, this is what you do. You just crouch all the way down here, you can leave the lights. We'll make this a little bigger later, and look, we're down already. Now, if you were in a hurry... You know Sneaky. where to go. Go like this and swim under that block. And I'll fix it up later, but there's your your block. You go under here and there's your portal right over here. So if they did happen to follow you and they found your stairwell, they're like, oh, the little fucker was hiding on me. You quickly jump into your portal like this. <laughs> Hopefully you find nice. the portal. But I'm already through the portal, bro. I'm gonna put my other boots on just in case, just for fun. Get my boat out, and I'm gone, bro. All right, there we go. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. This is very dangerous right now because it's not oh, complete. Oh, I just yep. Yeah. See, now don't die. I was following you. Yeah. Now I see where, where we're going. I'm like, eh. yeah. So now you know how easy it is. So now, now imagine you just died. If somebody's chasing you, you've set up a place where you can run away. Odds of them finding you are slim. If they do find your tunnel. The odds of them finding the portal are, you know, kind of slim. Let's say they find the portal and they're in here. Okay, well, they're going to be really close to your base. However, they have to deal with the warden if they don't know what they're doing, and they have a couple of fake-out paths as well, because that's why I'm not finishing that area. Because I kind of want to leave the warden there for somebody else to mess with. I think he's a good bodyguard, right? Indeed. So that's why I do it like this. Benjo, how's it going, man? How you doing? 
Good to see you. Oh my god, everyone's getting here. Now we can speedboat it because this is all done. Because I, I have to go get more buttons. Now we're gonna just enjoy the view, you know, chill out. And look at this, we're already at the, that. at the other portal already. Already home, man. Already home. Look at this. Jump through the portal. Hopefully there's no warden. We know the secret messages of our lights. We know which one to go to. And that light will no longer be there in a minute. Here he comes, you know. And then, of course, if somebody comes out of the portal, they can't see this area that well. All right? So we know which blocks to break because we've memorized it. And we can slam them back down after. I'll give you uh, four of these. Put those four down behind you. Imagine you just grab some right. stone on the way or you just grab a couple of deep slate. You just pick them up with an, you know, a, a random pick. It might take a few seconds. And look how fast we are back already. Now, if we were flying with an elytra, it would take longer. Like, we could beat Ernie with an elytra coming here. We'd be here faster than him. Awesome. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm sleeping. How you doing, Benjo? What's Definitely up? Definitely won't make it this time. <laughs> <laughs> well. There you go. How awesome wow. is that? So now, whenever you're in, you know, danger or whatever, you're in a world, something happens. This is why I set all this stuff up ahead of time. Now I'm going to put some stuff away. I have random stone for some reason. I thought that cave would be a lot bigger, honestly. I thought there'd be much more going on there. Copper. There's a copper on my tail. I need to ditch him. Uh, what else am I putting away? This. Put that away. I don't need any more ice. That is now a done deal. Uh, I can put this. Well, I don't need that anymore either. I don't need my helmet on either. Good, thanks. You, uh, been lurking here for a few hours. Oh, you've been lurking the whole time. Oh, cool. Okay, so you know, you know the deal. You know everything that's been going on. I, uh, am low on, uh, low on food. I think you heard me talk about that last time, right? If I, if I didn't tell you the story of why I have no food right now, uh, in real life, then, um, there's a lot of stuff here I gotta <laughs> sort out. Oh my god, what a mess. Oh yeah, I have extra packed ice here too. Actually, we don't need any more packed ice. I now have to empty this thing. Look how much extra ice we got. Holy crap. All right, I gotta put all this ice away. That's the one I want, yeah. Boom, ba -dum, boom. Put all this in here. Oh, overflow, overflow. Any more? 17, regular ice? Okay, we'll just put that one there. I have an empty shulker box. Nice, ready for the next adventure. I have an eye I do not need. There we go. What else do we gotta do? Anything else I need to put away? Uh, flint and steel, I guess it's not a big deal. I can leave my shulker there. And this is just for my glass. Oh yeah, we need to check how much glass we got. Oh, look at all this glass for next time. I gotta do all the walls. Let's put all the glass up there. So now, while we were messing around, I have one, two, three, four, five stacks of glass ready to go for those walls. Awesome. Jinxie's in chat as well, Benjo. Which you know, I guess, because you were lurking when I said, hi, Jinxie. Hey, for, hey, every, hey all the viewers. Um, I like hanging out with Reptoid and streaming and stuff, but uh, can you all like buy some of his music? Because uh, he's got a, a food situation for real, for real. Yeah, thanks, man. Oh. Yeah. I really He's do. not around. I'm going to be bored. Yeah, I know. That's, you know, it's going to suck, man. I mean, I, I'm i not going to be probably, hopefully I'm not going to be homeless. Hopefully I'm not going to have to worry about that. I do have emergency I'm money, not, but it's yeah. for if I am really stuck, it's supposed to help me in that situation, right? It's to help me, like, it's a long story short, but, you know, I just leave it at that. I don't want to just keep... Living on disability sucks. If, if I'm short on food, I don't want to constantly chip away at my emergency money because then there'll be nothing left. And then if I have a real emergency, I have no friends, no family, can't couch surf. I'm living under a bridge in the middle of like Vancouver somewhere and I lose my, my radio station, I lose my Minecraft, I lose everything, no more channel, no more stream, mm -hmm. nothing. It's all gone until somebody takes me off the street, which would be a cooperative that is subsidized by BC Housing. And that's like, I'm already on an eight to 12 year wait list. However, they have told me that if I'm homeless, I'm under crisis status, which means it might only be like 
three or four months of living on the street with holes oh in my shoes begging for chains and then no they'll finally give me a fucking home that the doctors and the medical system says I should be in which is my own private one bedroom suite in a cooperative with no fucking roommates and my rent is what the government gives me for rent rather than this fascist uh, company that takes half of my food and medicine money and calls it rent. As far as I'm concerned, that's illegal. But welcome to Canada, eh? They take disabled yeah. people's food money because they don't give a fuck about disabled people. They go, that's the that's the going rate of our rent. If our rent's $2,000, that's what you pay. I don't care if you're retarded. I don't care what. I don't care if you got a leg missing. I don't care what kind of war you've been in. You just give us money. We've got billions of dollars and you got nothing, but you pay up, mister. So if you disagree with that type of thinking and you think that's really, really nasty and you want to help out an old disabled man, all you got to do right now, Benjo, Jinxie, either one of you, exclamation point music, M-U-S-I-C, exclamation point music. There's a link by my albums on Bandcamp. I get 85% of that and I'll get the money in three days because I need the money now because I want to be able to get groceries next week and the week after that. So like, you know, 10, 20 bucks, whatever. It's better than subscribing. Subscribing is going to take six months because I, yeah, yeah. I don't have 50 people watching me right now. I have like, what, three or four of you? And most of you don't have this kind of money. But I'm saying it for the, if there's any lurkers out there that want to do it later when I'm not on the air. If you're watching this as a VOD on Twitch or if you're watching this next week on YouTube on my second channel, by the way, exclamation point videos, Exclamation point videos will get you all the links, to all my channels, and then you can support me that way there. I'm saying this now for the next week or so, so it's out there. If you're watching this and it's like a month from now, I mean, you can do that, but I might not need the money. And if I'm stuck on the street, I might not be able to even access it. So just do it sometime in the next week, you know, in the next few days if you can. I'd appreciate that. I, I will not starve to death. But, you know, it does help me out. You don't even have to like the music that I do. I do dark, ambient, and experimental stuff. And some of it's kind of light. Depends on the album. Just, you know, when I'm not streaming, just fish through the albums. You might find something. And, and I don't even mind if you guys use stuff in your videos or your, your music videos or your live streams. If you if you if maybe you yeah. read books, you're doing a reading, you want some spooky music, just mention me. Put a link under the video. Just say, here's a link to the album. Go buy it. You know, I, I'm not, there's no AI that's gonna like ban your videos. It's not even registered that way. If you're a registered radio station, I will get royalties from it, but very, very little. You know, unless you have like 10,000 listeners, in which case I might get like 20 bucks out of it, which would be cool. But anyway, enough about that. Thank you for mentioning that and thank you for posting yeah. that in the chat. Yeah, because it's a it's, it's tricky situation, right? And I know people. People don't like to donate or, or contribute if they can't reach a milestone with their own contribution. But, you know, if everyone's helping, like yeah. just a couple dollars or something, like find a dollar album, take take your high quality, well-produced, dark ambient album and fuck off in the woods or something and listen to it there. It's, oh, it's yeah. Really oh. good stuff, man. Guys, you if know, you take my, good music, guys. If you take my stuff camping, I am not responsible for you having absolute fucking jump scares. If you hear like twigs snapping in the middle of the night in your tent outside yeah. my stuff is spooky okay it's spooky <laughs> watch out it's better well you know you know uh, rap music could be spooky too yeah because uh you know sirens if you, you okay you shouldn't be allowed to play police sirens in music i'm sorry oh i know it's everyone mean. should stop doing that because when i'm driving i'm like, psh, 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 like what you're like checking your mirrors and you're like what, what did i do the hell? Who's coming, crapping up? Man. Creeping up on me so fast. Who, where's the cop? You know, I don't see any siren lights. What the hell? Yeah, I know. Not even as an intro. Yeah. Not even as an, I'm sorry. You guys got to stop that shit. Sorry. Yeah. That's a tangent. Hey, well, I used anyway. to produce uh, albums that were meant for CD and the last track sometimes. I mean, don't mention the label. We're, we're keeping them out of it. But I worked yep. for a major label and we would often put like something funky at the end of like one of the last tracks. You know, it's start going, and the people would be running across their living room, checking their player to see if, like, oh no, the last track is all screwed up. And it's like, it's just a way of trolling people, right? And I used to do stuff, experimental art on cassette, 
and I was mixing something down on from cassette to cassette and I had a really crappy player and it finally chewed the tape. So I was recording on deck two of the first track being chewed and I thought that's perfect so I cut that into the final mix. So the last track on the B side was like and it was all and then I put it in the sound of a tape deck going chunk and turning off. And then I just left like a minute of silence of like blank tape. So they thought their machine was like chewing the tape. They'd run up to it and open it up. Their tape's fine. It's like, oh, it's just, it's That's just hilarious. It's just art. Your your tape deck didn't just eat my album. What are you talking about? Everything's fine. And That's it's really fun. Too. There's a, a group that also put out a vinyl record that has a, an infinite loop at the end. And uh, but before it hits the infinite loop, it also has the sound of the vinyl skipping of the track that's currently playing. It's like, and then it goes over to the infinite loop and starts going, like it's like it skated across to the paper of the vinyl, going, and it just loops. And just everyone runs over there, runs over to their turntable, like, oh my god, my needle! Right? It's hilarious. Dude, dude, I just had a big brain idea. Yeah, for a troll. Uh huh. All right. So, if it's possible at all to make a record like this, here's what I want to do. Mm. So, the record will skip every other track, okay? So, it's playing forward. What does it go to the center? Yeah. And then I want it to switch tracks and begin uh, riding itself back to the other side. Uh, you can't have tracks impossible. cross over. It's a flat surface. It's a two-dimensional space, technically. You can have a record start at the innermost groove and head to the outer edge and lock. You can have it go to the end of each track and stop and lock. You can have it start at the end of each track and go to the, the beginning of the track and then lock. You can have, let's say, four tracks, two play forwards and lock, and then track like four and two play backwards and lock. Um, you can have a record that plays from head to tail, but every time you drop the needle down, it plays a different song up to about, I would say the safest is four different tracks. However, if you pitch that fast across the record, what happens is instead of getting like 17 or 18 minutes per side, you'll get like, you know, one song. So you drop the needle on, it plays like a five minute song, and then the record ends. So you have to pick it up, put it down again. You might hear the same song, but you might hear one of the other three songs as well. So you might put the needle down three or four times trying to get that fourth track, like where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, there it is. So you can do that too and backwards but at that point you're just pissing off your Seriously. fans to the point where it's like yeah it's still i hate, I hate trying to play track four it's impossible to get it to lock up. it always hits track one two or three you know and stuff like that happens so i'm glad the record days are over although they're fun to play with still oh it's a wonderful format for like artistic creativity and, and crazy stuff i beat you i beat you i beat you i beat you i'll click your That's bed fine. see i beat you on two beds now <laughs> fair enough um, all right, I think that wraps up, I guess. Yeah, I'd say that's good enough for an outro. Uh, I'll just go back over here. Oh, we're going to do that YouTube thing that everybody does. It's a thing. I'll probably end my hey stream guys, after I did some mining outro. off camera. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you going to hold a bunch of diamonds or something? <laughs> just, yeah, like, that's... throw a bunch of diamonds at the camera. I did some off-stream diamond mining earlier, but that's okay. You didn't need to see that. It was boring anyway, you know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right all right dude all right so hey we That's made fun. it through another episode no problem this guy knows what he's doing he's learned a lot of stuff i'd say he's come a long way everyone leave a I'm comment slow. right now about how awesome phase on has uh, let me rephrase that. i was gonna say how awesome it is that phase on has come but um yeah anyway he's doing great he's doing great and thank you for watching we'll see you next time banging my head against my mic Ow. Anyway, yeah, there we go. That's that's good enough. I mean, <laughs> if, right, if I use it, I use it, right? I just like to do stuff right. in game in case it's usable. You never know. <laughs> yeah, no backtracking. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I got music on, so obviously I would never. This would never be monetized. That's the thing. When I'm doing like intentional videos and I'm not live streaming, I don't have music and I don't want any because, you know, I got 530 whatever subscribers on my main channel. I could technically monetize, but you know, only half my videos will be monetizable anyway. So, whatever. It's not like I'm going to get money off of it. It's just like, meh. It's a nice option for the future. 
But yeah, thanks for being here. Hopefully you learned some more good, valuable information you can use in your yeah. other worlds or other, you know, <clears throat> whatever. I, uh, one particular thing I learned I found quite interesting. Having all those um, uh, escape tunnels and covering them up and having a couple to choose from if you're ever, you know, running this direction. Pick one, cover up your tracks, and fucking that crouch jumping thing, that's really useful. That's really sneaky. Yep. Check your map. Like that. Okay. When you're watching, you can yep. see me on your map right now, right? You see that little dot? Not anymore. One sec. Gone. Yeah, yeah. That's how you did it. Okay. I was wondering, how does that... Where did you go? So, I waited until you were looking <laughs> this direction, and it's, or, or whichever. You were looking out that way, and I thought, okay, you're looking that way. And I said, oh, yeah, come over here, and you didn't come over right away. So, I went... I went like this and I just went right outside. And as soon as I got out here, I crouched and just started doing yep. this. I'm just like, oh, yeah. and I was looking up at you and I was watching on the map and I was, I was looking for your name tag. I'm like, I'm right here. I'm right next to you. I can see you. Like, there's your, yeah, you're up and down the stairs right now. Mm. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> Hiding in the flowers. Yeah. Well, all the fucking traders come by and they sit there and they smell this one bush for some reason. There's something about. This particular bush that they really like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> strange, man. Really strange. Alright, dude. I don't want to keep you. I know you're busy. Hopefully you have more time in the future. If not, obviously it'll be next um, Monday, 7 o'clock Pacific for two hours. Another class with Mr. Faison. We'll take him on another adventure. I'll try and get more stuff done on this server in the meantime. I have other servers I go to, plus, of course, there's other things I'm doing behind the scenes, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, thanks for being here once again, my friend, and uh, I'll see you in Discord yeah. as usual. We'll chat up a storm as we do, share memes and all that stuff. All right, man. Have all a good right, night, bro. I'll see you later. I'll drop Go out inside. of the voice chat now as well. Yeah, make sure you yeah click your bed and all the safety stuff before you log out, just in case. Yep. But again, you know, if, uh, you know, as an example, if somebody busts our base and they break your bed, they break all our beds, and you log in and you're at spawn, you now know how to get here in seconds. It's not going to take you like, you know, hours oh, yeah. or, or like, you know, like half an hour of swimming and boating and trying to find it. You've got it all saved, written down, and you got the highway. The highway oh, yeah. through hell. It's <laughs> basically what you got. Man, that's probably the hardest music to ever use on video without a copyright strike. Well, anything, what is it? I think the number one one to avoid is Eagles, Metallica, ACDC, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. Eagles. Like, the I worst. I heard about that. Oh, God. You, 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 you can look up on YouTube. Anyone can watching this right now can look up on YouTube. Copyright Eagles and yep. any other keywords you think, like, you know, hate that guy, whatever. There's so many videos about people have problems with them, or they, he, he will show up at your door, I swear. This guy is so angry, like, about anyone ever even playing his stuff. I've had, I've heard people, like, oh, weird. deleting his stuff from their audio library after having an interaction with them. Like, they're just like, <laughs> they'll never mention his name again. Like, they're like, uh, I don't know who you're talking about, never heard of them. And if some, I've heard people say that if you start mentioning him in chat, some some of the mods for some of these people will just be like, mods, anybody who mentions Eagles again, can you please ban him? I'm sick of this shit. I've seen that. I've seen clips of that, like Twitch clips. So it's bad. That's that's so unfortunate, man. That's so sad to be have that kind of reputation. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill my recording. Yeah, for sure. All right, yeah. Put the recording in the usual place, and I will do the same. And. Uh, I'm going to drop out of the voice chat now, so I will see you in the usual places, bro. Take, All right, man. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm trying. All right, see you later. See you, dude. Love you. Love you too, man. And there he goes. That is the Phazon. That is currently the hosting service man himself of my public and private and realm and everything else that I got going on on my own website. And I'll give you that link right now as well. That is the guy you want to talk to if you have any technical issues. If you're in my Discord, my Discord is also linked on that website right now. If you go to it, click on the word Discord. You can jump into my Discord. We don't have any bots. You'll be sitting in the uh, in the foyer waiting for someone like myself or Faison or somebody else to let you in. And we'll give you a membership card. And as long as you don't abuse your privileges, you get to stay in the club. And that's about it. 
And it's pretty liberal, it's pretty cash there, but you know, sometimes people just suddenly start acting like a bot or whatever, and we just revoke their membership card and they're stuck in the lobby again going, I can't see anything, what's going on? You know, I gotta be somewhat safe. I gotta act like the bot basically, which is kind of annoying, but I had a bot act up a while ago and uh, long story short, I don't like it. So I kicked it out too. But yeah, I think that's about it. It's 919, I gotta do post stream stuff. And um, I think we're gonna see who we're gonna raid. So this is the end of the VOD as well, because I'm going to be editing this for my second channel. So you know what it is, guys. You know, you click that one there, you click that one there, you watch another one of my videos. And of course, you can always subscribe. See you later.